We're not suffering through that joke a third We're, time. Yeah. I refuse. Hey, hey, hey if, if, uh, uh, fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> fool me. Wait. Hold on. What I just need to be doing? fooled a third time, I think. That's what we... That's <laughs> what, what are you doing? I don't know. Christ. I just... I... I still don't even know if we're live yet. We are. No, we are live. actually live now. Right, we okay. are. Man, you remind me of the... <laughs> hey, uh, so... So, uh, real quick, because I forgot... I, I don't think we mentioned it. Uh, Christmas emotes are going live right now, guys? Yeah. So yes. whenever you drop subs and certain levels of bits, you can give to the community. Nice yeah. little uh, melty snowman. Oh my god! And we then already... they'll make them global. Hey, uh, Bosco, are you there? Yes, I am. Where can I find you? Oh wow! Uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Real easy to remember. Awesome, awesome. Hey Connor, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash distortion devil and on Twitter at senile snake. Uh, on Twitch this week, I've got ring fit adventure streams peppered throughout. Friday is Friday Funhouse, play a lot of party games with my friends. Saturday is The Witcher, we're moving on to the Blood and Wine DLC since we finished the main quest. And Sunday is going to be more Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition exploration. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, and I actually got a piece of information. Uh, the well, it, 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 it is combined, but there's over a million views on this channel now, and a lot of that really? is the and a lot of that, lot of that is, and a lot of that is the unexpectables. Mm -hmm. Without a, but it's really cool to hear that. But um, dope, dude. Hey, uh, Monty, where can I find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. I am going to try again to upload Skies of Arcadia tonight, and I want to play it tomorrow because we beat Pokemon, oh, that and I want to be a pirate again. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, I'm also going to be peppering some Mr. X runs uh, in my schedule again because I found some really, really good skips and shit, and I'm very happy about it. Um, and then you can also find me Sunday streaming as well, and you can just catch me peppered throughout the week randomly. I'm streaming a bit later at night. Um, you'll usually catch my, my random streams probably at about, like, midnight, like 11 or midnight Pacific Standard Time, so just heads up there. But if you live, you know, in Finland or something, that's great for you. Did you do the end game? I have not, no. I actually, mm -hmm. I'm going to stream that, so you'll see that probably in the coming weeks as well. Okay. Kumba, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me panicking at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, Taiko Tuesday still going strong. In fact, uh, Citra King, who is currently in chat, is working on a wonderful uh, expand dawn emote. I know some of you who swing by there are really excited for that. Oh, that's um, what it was. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Because <laughs> you know me. I'm fresh ripe with the with the May Mays. Um, otherwise, uh, that well, that's every Tuesday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Otherwise, uh, Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. I messed around with Monster Hunter a little bit more. I feel like I need to beat Iceborne before I play Iceborne with everyone else on PC. So uh, I might be doing that, uh, or I might be doing some uh, open raids uh, for Pokemon because I know I'm not the only one that needs a shit ton of candies. So yeah, we'll just see how it goes for the weekend. Um, really quick, I might not be here this upcoming weekend, but I will let you guys know. Hey, Zito, where can I find you, bud? Oh, you can find me over at uh, twitch.tv slash chriszito, where uh, <clears throat> I'm running uh, I'm running a wee bit on the uh, sluggish side because of the holidays. So I'm getting back into streaming, but the problem is is that I, until, like, maybe the 15th or so, I won't be, be playing any actual video games. So to compensate, I've been on a D&D kick because... Oh, yesterday was a huge fucking campaign ender for TFS at the table. Uh, and recently, another another thing for D&D &D for me, uh, on the Dungeon on Dungeon Master's Guild, the mock, a.k.a. Playable Mimics, just reached silver in three days. So it's been on the front page since the entirety of December. I'm pretty Fuck fucking yeah. stoked about that. Fuck yeah. But can we go gold? Can we fucking go gold? That's what I ask. Download it. Give this man your monies. <laughs> uh, so yeah, indie games will happen. Just you gotta wait until the middle of the month for that to happen. Uh, you can uh, catch uh, me here, everybody, right here, 
You know. I have MNW tomorrow. Uh, main event will be Rapture Nuo versus Helix Sucks for the Multiverse Heavyweight Championship. Nice Ice versus Semjack for the Big Oof title and a hell of a number one contendership <coughs> match. So it's going to be a fun show uh, tomorrow as well on Tuesdays here on my stream as well. Our good friend Limealicious. Uh, Limes, you know her as Lily in the campaign, and myself have decided to join forces and play Dead Space 3, a.k.a. Fred Space 3, Operation Rescue Santa, on hard difficulty. You know, on a level oh, where they don't... I, I, I can't it, believe you wow, tried to I can't you like to that. torture yourself. It, I'm not going to lie, playing on hard, Dead Space 3, I'm like, this, I'm like, this is legitimately frustrating because they are not reacting to me shooting off their leg. Damn it, React! <laughs> React, that's like, that's that's like RE2 hardcore where shooting them in the head doesn't stun them anymore. And you have to shoot them like five times in the leg to stun them. But luckily there's two of us and we just literally every room is suppressing fire. So it managed to work out. But you can check that out. Uh, we started at 12 o'clock uh, PST this week and it was a lot of fun. Wanna, uh, fun playing with Limes. Because I'll say this real quick. At one point, Limes, God bless her. Uh, she's supposed to cover me. I triggered a mini game which spawns tons of enemies. And I didn't know that was going to happen. So I do that, and the whole time I'm stuck in the minigame, I can't leave the minigame, and I just hear noise, like limes, ah, firing everything. <laughs> and occasionally one comes up, slashes me in the back, and I went, yeah, 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 I'll be with you in a second. This is really difficult. <laughs> You're like, I'm no-selling the attack. And it's good fun. Uh, but I have a lot of people I gotta thank here, and I'm gonna try my best to get through everybody. Oh, my lord. Okay. Okay, you have nine minutes, and we got a hard start. We have a hard, we have a hard start. Script Daddy, thank you for gifting us up to Nightbot. Rest in peace. Oh wait, Nightbot's still around. It's Drinkbot. DRK Gannon, one two three four five six. Constable Mutton gifting us up to Mr. Crispy. Thank you so much, DRK Gannon. Thank you as well. Script Daddy gifting us up to Stoon. Warfay, Revenant Raziel. Script Daddy giving us gifting us up to We Live Baby. Mickey D ninety two. No nobody X Pyrotherian. King's Grimoire. Hierogatic Spirit of Love. Twitchy the Twitch user. Script Daddy gifting us up to Why Are You Like This? Bernie Sanders, Lunatic Crow 84, Zen Lita, Zeus Moose, Random Man, Mark Wolf, Uai Beast, The Talbs, Dino Might 36, Kane, La Kane Lingod, as well Cage 42, The Emperor of Penguin Kind, Crazy Person 23, Poin Dexter, Arkoff, thank you for the raid, Sword Cooper, Codename Chaz, Zodiac Pug, Viral Tech. Awesome Link, Dragon124, Zambowski as well, Frost Dragon 28 and the Talbs gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to none other than the Talbs. Thank you so much, Talbs. Uh, one son of a one with the 500 bits. Love you guys. Well, thank you so much for swinging by. Uh, Warnar, <laughs> thank you so much for the 29-month resub. God damn. Uh, Samax12, thank you so much for 200 bits. Bits for the bit god, subs for the sub train. Great rolls for the party. Love y'all. Oh, thank you so much. Anon Hawk quadruple zero, 500 bits, no message, just bits. Well, thank you so much, dude, nonetheless. Super Blue Hedgehog with 1,006 bits. Uh, uh, turn that scatter upside down. Uh, let's see what kind of hijinks will ensue tonight. Ooh, we're going to find out. The Sequim Kid, 1,400 bits. After three weeks of training, I currently have a set schedule for my new job, and I got last month, and it's pay week. Have some bits. Nice. Well, thank you so much. The, sque the Sequim Kid, thank you so much for the 1,400 bits, and congrats on getting paid. You deserve it. Then Smoke, Sanji 900 with 1,000 bits. Hey, wrestling's happening right now. What are you nerds playing D&D? &D? Boo! Boo! Boo, Vin Smoke. Boo, Vin Smoke. <laughs> what is that? What a heel. Connor. Connor, yes. you're breathing into your microphone. Yeah. God damn it. Sorry, Glacerious. I think I pointed out. Glacerious with uh, 300 bits. I feel sick, but that just means I can be super comfy wrapped in blankets while I watch the Unexpectables. <coughs> I'm adding that in, but that's probably happening. Please feel better. And, of course, we're going to scroll on down here to Space Man Joe. With 2,750 bits. No message, just 2,750 bits. Well, thank you, Space Man Joe. There's a Space Man named Joe. Thank you. Marcus Otero with a 1,550 bits. Mystery, adventure, and small business ownership. This is the peak D. This is peak D and D. Mystery, adventure, and small business ownership. Peak D and D. Agreed. And franchise. Franchising. For 1,550 bits. Well, that gets you a 1% share in our business. Defender sheet with a 300 bits. How does it feel? Feel that the elf guy is no longer uh, a Chekhov's rifle. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, that's a that's a good way of putting that, that is a good way of putting it. That's a good that's a really good uh that's it's a fun real because my, my friends who are watching the show probably right now as we speak are just like, man, it really seemed like you really wanted them to take that one guy. I'm like, you wanna know why it seems that way? Because they were supposed to travel with him last year. So he was really <laughs> well written, whereas the other two weren't as well written. So no, I'm sorry. It's yeah, okay, Monty. He's here forever now. I know. So <laughs> All Until we run works. him off. Oh my goodness yeah. here. Uh, as well, I want to thank uh, Flitz Boy, Topper Bottom, Good Row 12, Blackfoot Ferret, Argent Lyle 13. Thank you so much. And I Snake Eyes as well. Thank you so much for the tier two sub. And Captain Neva, think of the bits. And Blackfoot Ferret just showed the hell up and showed everyone the heck up. Guess what? It's Blackfoot Ferret with the 10,000 and one bits. Snaps out for Blackfoot Ferret, everybody. That's a ferret noise? I don't know. I Ferrets don't really make noises from what yes, I they understand. do. They duke. I guess that's true, yeah. Duke? That's that's the noise they make. Yep. Oh. Thank you so much, though, to Blackfoot Ferret for the 10,001 bits. That You have been incredibly kind <laughs> and considerate with your bit drops. Uh, like we And we greatly appreciate it, but remember to take care of yourself first and foremost, as always. I think we can yep. all... Yeah, and, and not only here, but to us individually, too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you again so much. Cosmo Button with a 2,000. Oh no, everyone tried to get the bit boss at once. Oh no, oh, everyone God. tripped over each other. Oh, my no. God. It was, it was like a Mexican standoff, but there were no winners. No, it was everyone shot oh. each other. It's like that scene, in, that's how she could. It's just at the end of Good, Bad, and the Ugly, everyone's dead. <laughs> like, oh. Directed, well, directed by the Russo brothers. Uh, but uh, JC Blade with the 1,500 bits. Thank you so much, uh, JC Blade. No message, just bits. He got in there as quick as possible. I don't even know who got the bit boss. I have to refresh. And the new bit boss is Survivor. I also want to thank Philip Chanter, Commando Joe, Survivor. Thank you for the subs. My goodness here. This this is this is nuts. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Mine! Oh, my God. Constable Mutton was... He was tripped going out the door. Oh, oh the humanity, Constable Mutton. Are you okay? And Script Daddy. Daddy, oh, Daddy, birthday bits. 1,800 bits. Oh, my God. Script Daddy fell down a flight of stairs and... Oh, probate. 5,000 bits. Oh, he punched someone else. 5,000 bits from probate. This is... Oh, oh the humanity... Oh, this is so bad. It's 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 just a it's just a complete anarchy of flesh. <laughs> you all tripped. Oh my lord, probate. Thank you so much for the five thousand bits. God. One son of it, one with the five hundred bits. Thank you so much, dude, as well for the five hundred bits. Mugen two one one six with three hundred bits. I hope your week is going well. I just got employee of the month, so yay. Pie boy nice. four two four two. JK gamer four fifty seven. And Valus, thank you so much. And the 101 bits from DSK Box. Congrats on the new kitten there, dude. And again, I do want to thank Blackfoot Ferret and Probate, Cosmo and JC Blade, Script Daddy. That is, this is absolute pandemonium right now in the chat. Guys, we have, oh, Jack Spade, GGS with a thousand bits. Just got here from the very beginning and I loved every second Taka. You got, you gotta, you gotta spend energy to make energy. Wait, is that, wait, who's the most educated person in this room? Uh, I have seven uh, years of art school. I also have, I think, seven years of art school as well. Who didn't I go to art? Okay, yeah, you didn't I, go to I, art school. Hey, no, I, I didn't go to other art classes too. <laughs> other than we art. took Come international on. relations. Mm. I'd honestly say though, the most red I would probably say would be Gaijin. I, I'm not to throw you under the bus, Zito, but let's be fair here. <laughs> No, that's fine. Student loans already did that. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's unfortunate. But Valus gifting five subs to the chat. Thank you so much to Valus for the five subs gifted to the chat. And Blackwing Hellkite with 4,000 bits. By God, uh, my D&D session got canceled today. So have these bits. Ugh. Well, thank you, Blackwing Hellkite. That was very aggressive, Blackwing Hellkite. That was... <laughs> He, he just like slammed it down. It bounced. We're gonna have to go find that one. But Blackwing Hellcat, thank you for the four thousand. It's DM War Chief Rook Cat Jack Spade GGs. Thank you all for the subs as well. And the real Getsu Hero. So now we actually know it's really them. I've given every unexpectable one thousand bits, both past and present. You guys saved my life in a dark time. Some bits are all I can give, but thank you, Taka and friends. Well, thank you. The real Getsu Hero. Thank you so much and. Um, take care of yourself first and foremost, but thank you so much for the 1,000 bits and for your kindness. It's very yeah, nice. One minute. 
We got one minute away. All right, uh, anyone want to plug anything on the, before we get into the hole? The Can I plug one thing? Which is kind yeah, of go, go for it. So for you guys, for those of you guys who watch, uh, I like to do speed runs of well, speed runs with quotation marks of RE2. There's currently a speedrunner trying to save money for uh, to go to a speedrunning event. He's a world record holder for a lot of the Leon category. So if you guys want to check out Seven Ray D. Uh, he's really rad. He's super cool. Um, and if you guys check out his stream, there's some, some bits or something like that, I'd be much appreciated. So, just a little thing. Oh, and real fast. Rook Cat dropping 4,000 bits, cleaning out my sarcophagus. Found these. Take them. Ah! <laughs> I believe it's time. It is. I'm eating a banana. I'm really hungry. I'm sorry. You have a couple more minutes. Oh, Rook Cat, 4,000 bits. Let's make a real meal out of Rook Cat's 4,000 bits. What's else in the sarcophagus? Do we have any ancient tablets or cursed objects I can give to my extended relatives? Return the slab. I, have, I, I, I would issue a challenge, though. Try to eat two bananas one right after another. No. That okay. sounds horrible. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw right. you one. Why does that eat, sound a, eat, eat a ban eat a banana, but every bite after a banana, you have a chocolate pretzel. That mm. sounds great. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. Yeah, there you yeah, go. That there you go. Yeah. yeah uh, All yeah. right, I'm ready to go. Sorry, I had to eat something. My stomach was just ba like really ba real fast. Back card twenty with two thousand bits. I can't wait for the Druid interview. I got a feeling they will be unique people. A th two thousand bits. Absolutely. No, it's just an animal. Uh, we get animals to fucking interview. Yeah, I swear to God, Squirrel if it's just it's just kiwi wearing a bush. <laughs> Roto Ro Ryu, gentleman indigo, alien go three six five, a big daddy boneless. <laughs> Thank you. Please start the game. All right. Are you start ready to the start? game. All right. Are you ready? This. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and Borky the Orc Barbarian. After being pardoned for arrest by head guard Bork Bronzefang, the party learned in a secret meeting that Yugolos have invaded Alavast and potentially the Alavastian Council as well. Bork provided an avid guard mage known as Kay to watch over the party's activity and assist them in finding any leads on the fiends in the city. After heading home, the party returned home to hire on some new employees. Enceladus Anclad, an elven anthropologist as their researcher. Osfellos, a tiefling ex-circus performer as their main innkeeper. Old Teapot, a hobgoblin ex-legionnaire as a caretaker. And Opal, a drow refugee as another caretaker. After the interview, the party went to bed to rest their weary bones and collect themselves with a strange job put upon them by Brooke Bronzefang. So, the night before... You guys head to bed. Uh, Kay stays in your room, Greckles, as, mm -hmm. as we discussed earlier. Uh, she talks to herself a lot bef when she sends her report. Um, oh. Roll a knowledge arcana for me really fast before you go to bed. Sure. Oh, please be good. Yeah, 20. 20. Uh, it seems that Kay knows the sending spell, uh, and she's using oh. that to communicate with Brooke. So that appears to be how she's oh. filing her reports. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she also writes a very long report as well. You're a little frightened by this. Like, it's a little bit obsessive, but it it's her job. Does guess. she does she keep me up at night? No, she's quiet when she does it. It seems like she's pretty good about that. But Ken blinks one eye and then the other. It's unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, half, um, I'm half tempted to sneak through her notes, but no. She, um, she definitely, you get the sense that she's very thorough. Mm -hmm. Um, and that lamp light stays on for a while into the night, but eventually it does flick off and then she goes to sleep. Uh, as the dawn arrives, you guys wake up the following morning and head down for breakfast, I assume. After yep. um, that morning prayer. Hell yeah. You guys head down and the place is actually closed today. Ooh. Um, the tavern is closed. You see dwarves loading in material through the front door. Adric kind of barking orders to his various daughters. And some, there's some male dwarves in there as well as they're loading in things. Uh, um, Bor Borky goes up to him and asks if he can help, actually. I, oh, not, I, you rest your weary bones. No, no, my, bo my bones must be always moving or they hurt. Now, here's the thing. As you know, it's time to get Orky. It's time to get Borky. It is in the morning. I'm good to go. Let's do this. All right. Well, if you want to help the ladies with the main support beam of the new warehouse location, go right ahead there. Looking how strong they are, I think they're going to help me. 
<laughs> All righty. So roll a strength check for me, Borky. Is actually athletics. I'll say athletics for this. Oh, I didn't pull up on my character <laughs> sheet. I uh, I will leave the campaign. That is that was. You know, oh no. Where is? Oh no. There it is. There we go. Found him. I knew I forgot one Perfect. thing to do. I knew I forgot one thing to do today. <laughs> and that is an athletics check. You said. Athletics. Yep. That's a thirteen. <laughs> 13 as you're like there's like about 50 dwarves under the support beam and they're all shorter than you so you're like kind of like you have the the support beam kind of straddled between your legs and you're just kind of like waddling along with it you're not really helping too much i'm helping um but eventually it's the one goose in the row in. of ducks exactly exactly <laughs> borky's like um <laughs> you you loaded into the main, uh, the warehouse area, which you guys were in this warehouse, like, the other day, talking with, with, uh, with Taylor. This place has completely changed. All the windows have been knocked out, and they're now reframing new windows up above on kind of the awning area. Uh, they're making a secondary floor, which is what the support beam is for. Um, and they're loading in a bunch of shit. So your guys' rooms are going on the, on the second floor, as well as a bunch of other things. Uh, Willow's staying about around the same area. All the employees are living in a dormitory on the main floor. There's the blacksmith and the inventor shop are in the same vicinity, the same building. Um, and the uh, fight pit uh, is outside in the back area as well. Now there's like a separate door room. It's hard to describe the layout of this, but your warehouse is a separate building. And then there's another building outside that leads into the courtyard, which is a secondary building, which is where your fight pit and your training yard are now. So it's its own individual singular building, so it doesn't interrupt or interact with the other buildings in a disruptive way. Um, so right now, it's just kind of a skeleton of a building, but it is definitely really, really nice. As you guys head to the courtyard, you do see there are some, you assume, lower-tier druids who are currently plotting out lands and figuring out where to put what. Um, and yeah, it's just like, there's a lot going on. There are people running back and forth. Towels are being loaded in. New linens are being loaded in. Uh, Osfellos is kind of like he's got like a clipboard and like, like a quill and he's mm. just kind of taking inventory this of place, everything that's coming this, in and out. This place sounds like a nightmare if you have social anxiety. <laughs> just so much oh, noise. Oh, it is. Oh, it it is, just yeah. speaking absolute of, madness. Speaking, speaking of, I would like to see if Iggy's around. Uh, you do see Iggy loading stuff in and it's just like it's one wheelbarrow, then it's another, then it's another, <laughs> then it's another, another. <laughs> And you have no idea what any of it is. Oh, it's all his drugs. There's so many rooms yeah. for us. My God, look, guys, Iggy has lots of weird stuff. I think I think things did go boomer in that box. That's why I wanted to see if we could insulate his dwelling. No, nah, I mean, it's weird that he's put it on top of all the other boxes. You watch as now <laughs> Fluffy is also wheelbarrowing in some stuff of Iggy's stuff, too. Oh, oh. So kind of slowly, he stops I, as he's pulling, he slowly turns and gives you guys like this sort of cowboy nod, like <laughs> knowing nod and keeps moving forward. Uh, it, it, is, would, would we be able to make any attempt to try and figure out what he's wheelbarrowing in or is it just so foreign that there's no it's way? It's super foreign, there's no way. It's like oh. pieces of things. Okay. It's like, a lot of it looks like garbage to be honest. Oh <laughs> like, good. It looks like just scrap metal. Probably he's gonna probably gonna melt it down. You assume uh, you're not too sure. It's it's. Okay. You get the sense that Iggy's worked with a lot of different things, but at the same time, the way his brain kind of works, he might not get rid of things either. I like That's to fair. imagine. Yeah. I like to imagine that uh, uh, Fluffy has a tattoo on his on his shoulder that says "I love my wife" with a heart on it, but. He it only shows when he has to make athletics checks. So like his fur stands up and you can see it like a sequin. It's like a dyed section or, that's like he, he freaking lifts it up like a sleeve or something. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Uh, as you guys head down, it is just pure chaos. Like it's just like dwarves are coming in out of the doors, all your workers are scrambling around. Uh, Meryl and Skinny are literally just like standing on the side, just kind of helping here and there. But generally, they can't really do their job today because there's like they could clean, but why would they? At this if point? you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. Ugh. Borky yeah, says but, ironically. I mean, we're helping right now with the linens, but we're just kind of staying out of the way for now. Oh, that's good. That's good. Here's the thing big uh, thing about Iggy, the, the dat lizard guy over there. The big thing you gotta remember is his stuff might kill you. So, uh, don't go poking it. 
Yeah, don't go poking it there now, Meryl. You see Skinny kind of turned down to her, and Meryl just kind of has this really concerned face, just like, <laughs> the fuck? The hands-together concerned face. Um, you watch as Osfellos actually walks up to you, his tail kind of swinging behind him, and he walks up. He's still wearing that bronze mask, you guys remember. Same same clothes, very nice. He kind of yeah. strides in and goes, um, hi, um, I just, uh, are you busy? I, I didn't want to, um interrupt anything that you well, not especially oh, okay. now's the time Excellent. to speak to us you watch his hands kind of curl around the clipboard um we're currently working on the interior design of the in rooms there's currently six in rooms that we're going to be maintenancing um we're thinking of doing a sort of bronze trim with a sort of rustic theme he kind of flips it around and shows you some concepts that he's kind of been working on he actually draws pretty well so i he kind of flips so it around and he goes uh, i'm thinking to match the tavern's aesthetic i think would be a very inviting sort of it's got aesthetic. Yeah. Okay, so the goal <laughs> is to make it look as nice as it can without it looking like it's really nice so people don't feel guilty and we don't get ripped off. It's a very fine line we got to find. Uh, yes, at... absolutely. I understand. Um, I think we're going to go with this. The I talked with the um, dwarven uh, for, uh, forehead there. Um, he said, ringmaster, I don't know, what's the word? Foreman? Foreman. Foreman, Foreman yes. yes. I, 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 thought, you, I, thought, I thought it was undergrandfather or something like that. That seems, <laughs> that seems complicated. Um, we budgeted this. It, it should be easily covered by the AC you've contributed for your in-rooms. Um, I will say this, I, with the winter seasons coming up, we may want to consider re, uh, applying some sort of, um, seal on the glass just to ensure it does not get too cold in the winter but um for now it should be fine does that require anything from us no 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 it would just be um it would come off the ac so any any additional rooms might cost a bit more but i think in the long term it'd be a good investment but for now you don't have to consider that i just figured i'd bring it up in case um it becomes a problem early if we get an early winter or that sort of thing quick oh. question what were we what were we going to do about furnishings Oh, furnishings. So we were going to go for a sort of knitted motif, and he kind of flips it around. Uh, what he has for you, is he shows it off, is red curtains, cloth curtains, very nice. Mm. Uh, simple beds, framed beds, wood, made out of like a wood sort of wood bread frame. Uh, the interior contains a chair, wash basin, chamber pot, very simple. Um, there's one room that's a bit bigger. It's a double room. Uh, that's obviously for, you know, two people coming in to travel. Mm. Um, and that one's the same idea. So very, very simple furnishings, nothing super lavish. It's, it's within your budget. Um, but at the same time, he points out like, you know, we could get nicer things, but they're not gonna be as easy to clean. And so he would avoid like, he's very, he's actually very good at knowing what's going to work and what's not going to work. Uh, he also recommend having, having like a set of sheets for the summer and a set of sheets for the winter. So that way they can swap out. If it gets too hot, they have an option. And if it gets too cold, they have an option. Um, and then beyond that, that's that's all he really goes uh, over. Task holds his head and rubs his temples. He's just like, I just slept in a cave all my life. What the fuck? Us <laughs> Phyllis, if I can make a suggestion. Sure. It might be good to reserve one room for more diminutive guests, such as halflings, gnomes, and possibly one that's a little more size accommodating for goliaths and things of that mm. nature. Oh, okay. Um, that might be tricky to do, but... Actually, that gives me a great idea, Grackles. How about this? When the inn opens, it's booked up. We just say it's booked up for like three months. Uh... <laughs> all right, above game, I want to know how Borky has all his business sense. <laughs> Bit, Borky, Borky knows like... it, but doesn't know how to apply any of it. So it's like... <laughs> it's like a man as much with a... as that idea confuses me, I would like to be paid. So I No, we still recommend. pay you, but it creates interest. It creates scarcity. Exactly. It also... We'd get no money out of that for all those months, then. That seems counterintuitive, but... Mm. Um, let's see. I want to look into this room idea you have. Though I would say gnomes <laughs> and halflings probably wouldn't have a hard time with the beds currently, but definitely Goliaths and the taller orcs may, so I, right. I'll look into that. They would expect, it would just be a king size for them at no, that no, point. No, no, let's, I was thinking, let's yes. just make tiny little ladders that can set up, be set up there. Let's have, provide we a little step-up stew. He kind of starts sketching out, and he actually does make like, uh, like almost like a like a sort of step area. And he goes, "We could look into this, but for the Goliaths and the Orcs, that would be, uh, we may need two rooms and that have double beds. That might be the better way to do it. That might cost a bit more." But he kind of starts walking away, like kind of jutting. We out. have the AC. We we have the AC to compensate if you need more for such things. For sure, I'll see if I can get a, a sort of um, 
uh, quote from the ringmaster, the, the foreman, the foreman, the foreman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he I heard it was walking. the under grandfather. He goes back and he like he watches Opal and Old Teapot are like they're just like they're bringing in bed frames and shit and like they're putting stuff together. It's it's wild in here. Cool. <laughs> You watch as, uh, as Ty Borpington is handing everyone off like like a snack, like a little like cookie, and he's just like, "Here you go. Keep your energy up. Keep it um, going." And he real just fast. Kind of takes uh, one in and hauls, hauls can, is Monty crackling for you guys too? Yes, a little bit. Uh, okay, a little bit. All right. Well, then I have to reset my audio if I disconnect my microphone. So. All right. Sorry. Okay. It's... Sorry, Austin. All right. I'm gonna stop my recording then. All right. We stop ours. Do we you stop... guys don't stop yours. Don't stop okay, yours. Okay, okay. There's no point in stopping yours. I'll have to stop mine. So give me two seconds here. Hi. I'm just going to save this as real fast before I do anything else so I don't lose this. I do apologize for taking away what you were doing. That's fine. That's fine. This is the time to do it rather than when it's more more intense. So just give me two seconds here. Okay. And just save that. In the meantime, yeah. thank you, Pyro Therian, for the 2,000 bits. Tubbs versus Bright. Who wins? Whoever flinches first loses. <laughs> he never flinches. He wibbles. <laughs> Oh, oh. The sounds they make. Oh. <laughs> Why do I now imagine fucking tubs with the Nick with Nick Cage? I'm the cage. I imagine oh. there would be a, a movie about Nick Cage like having a fat pigeon and be like, "Oh, you're so fat." Oh. Get nominated for an Academy or something for it. I, it's hard to say. <laughs> I, it's just it's some of his best work, dude. It really was. Uh, Backhard Twenty, thank you so much again for the two thousand bits, and thank you guys all uh, for being patient while we quickly, quickly adjust this audio thing. But uh, yes, chat. How are you doing? Tell us about your day. And now we wait. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Do I sound okay? Yeah. You're far away. Come closer to the microphone. I know. I went on the floor because I, I unplugged the USB and then I couldn't figure out how to replug it back in because I couldn't see. And then Goblin was like, hi. And I'm like, no. <laughs> All right. Meow. Hi, Austin. Sorry. This is me part two of my audio. I apologize. Hold on. What the fuck are you doing in here? Get out. Get out. <laughs> oh. All right. You guys you guys ready to sync? Yep. yep. Chat, yeah. you ready to sync? All right. Yeah, I'm good. One, two, three, sync. 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 One, two, three, sync. 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 One, two, three, sync. 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 If I crackle again, it's probably Discord, not my microphone, but okay. I did I did reset my microphone, so okay. hopefully everything will be okay. All right. Ooh. So so you guys are currently in the center of your guys' tavern. Everything's crazy. People are walking around and, and talking, and it, it's kind of wild. This place used to have just one employee, which was Helga, and now it's got so many. Um, Where is Kay in all this? Kay has been stapled to your guys' side the entire time, and she's currently holding a similar clipboard and just keeping notes. Um, Greckles is actually gonna run to Ty just really quick. Oh, oh, hi, oh. Greckles! Hi! Here, Ty. have a cookie! Uh, I will happily take that. In fact, as he pockets the cookie, um, I want to ask if you had any meals for us we could take on the go. We're all kind of low on rations after everything. Oh, a yes, absolutely. You watch as he kind of goes behind the double doors of the kitchen and he procures uh, one ration for each of you, which is basically a lunch. It has two sandwiches oh, in it. One second. I'm going to try and jump out and jump back in and see if that helps. One second, everybody. We do apologize. Wow, oh, really? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I might have to swap some shit around then. Well, we got one rations, gentlemen. We got one All rations. Right. Uh, B B Barky's still holding out for the big cookie. Just one giant big cookie. There's a cookie in there. It's not big though. Am I really badly crackling? Yeah. Should I try yeah. to reset it? Yeah. yeah. It's All really right. bad. This sucks. I this is like I need to get a new condenser. All right. I'm gonna stop my audio here. Okay. okay. One more Same time, thing. guys, with style. All right. I gotta save this real fast. Oh, shit. Okay. If we're quiet. Good thing we're not doing. Good thing we're not doing the season finale right now. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> uh, I know that was painful, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Testing, testing. Yay! You're good now. You're doing good. I changed my port, so hopefully that helps. If not, then I don't know what to do. So. Yeah, you sound way better. All right, good. I I blew into it like a Game Boy cartridge, so. All right. I'll fix it. 
One more time with feeling. Hi, Austin. Hi, Yay. Austin. Oh. Part hey, Austin. three, electric boogaloo. Wait, that doesn't work. Whatever. All right. One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 All, All right. right. There we go. Alrighty, yes, you get you guys all get a ration, which is just a day lunch. It contains a sandwich, um, a a piece of fruit, and a, a couple cookies as well. It's a nice little nice little little lunch option. Um, no drinks though. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really any bottles you can take with you. So that's fine. Yeah. Beans. You got water uh, skins though. All right. Well, Cave, since you're here and you're kind of our uh, our, our little, I guess. Our guardian, so to say, at this moment. What do you think we should do at this point? Well, um, hmm. She kind of puts down her pencil. Oh, if my, I I've read your file last night. She kind of turns and looks to you. I have a file. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everyone has a file. Must be nice to um, read. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, oh, right. Um, she kind of looks literally awkward <laughs> there for a second, like, oh shit, my bad. Oof. Um, well, uh, I was thinking, perhaps, uh, you, I'm aware that you're a ranger, if I'm not mistaken, you have a, a good sense of the area around you, I was thinking perhaps you might have a sense that would let us maybe pinpoint any sort of focal point of fiendish activity, maybe if that's something you can do. Hmm. Well... Let me double check my spells because I think like I need it needs have, to happen before me before I can do it. I believe you have a, a ranger ability that lets you do that yeah, to to tr to track uh, celestials or fiends. Primary um, oh yes, that's true. I have uh, primeval awareness. You do, yeah. yeah. Yep, I can expel a spell slot to do this. I mean, we could do that, sure. Okay, okay. I figured that's a good start, and then from there we what, can. What? Uh, what's the range on that task? Uh, let me read it off. Beginning at third level, you could use your action to expend one ranger spell slot to focus your awareness on a region around you for a minute per level. So, for nine minutes, I can sense uh, aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fiends, fey, and undead. Yeah, this feature does not reveal the creature's location or numbers. But it no, not location or numbers, but I do know that, like, it's there. Mm-hmm. But how, how, what, like, just above game real quick, what's the radius? It's a mile, and a I mile. hate it because I'm a Canadian. Oh, gotcha. Or, or up to six miles if it was my favorite terrain. So, unfortunately, we're not. Wait. Wait. You're in a city. City is this terrain currently. Urban. Wait a second. Hmm? Where is my favorite terrain? It's not in here. It should be forest. I know you have forest for sure. Forest was one of them, and I think it was. Oh, God. Mountain was the other one, I think. Urban's not an option. Yeah, all right, so fair enough. Yeah. So for up to a mile, I could sense any of those things. I can't pinpoint it, but I know it's there. Okay, well, um, if you guys were devils, where would you want to hang out? <coughs> to Probably be conducted. She kind of, she kind of like looks at all of you and then kind of stops at panic and then kind of looks past panic and keeps going awkwardly. Well, if I was a devil, I think I wanted if to hang out in my tavern. <laughs> If, you if I was if I was trying to stay hidden in a city, I would try to hide in plain sight. Hmm. Oh, we know for a fa oh, they're we totally. Know for I mean, if they're if they and if they're really really gross, they're at the Royal Mansion. <sighs> anyway, we know for a fact that they're not going to be in the underbelly. They've got too much surveillance <laughs> down there for them to get away with it. It would have to be somewhere open and really inconspicuous. The docks, possibly, but even then, Ten Town. That's a possibility, but... I feel like if they have so much influence, though, around, you know, with what happened, I feel like they wouldn't be in the outskirts of the city. But that's just me. I feel like they would be somewhere a bit more important, but... So anywhere in the high district, then, at this point. I mean, after what second. happened with Stenden, then, yeah. Maybe, hey. But I... Yes. What are the limitations of the scrying spell? Uh, I don't have a scrying spell. Hmm. I could. I have... I have sending. No, no, no. Panic. What are, do you know the limitations of that spell? Oh, Distance, geez. time, range, things uh, of that nature. Give me a second. I need to need to think. And he just sort of crosses his arms and looks up and up and to the right and just tries to think on what the spell does. Spell scrying. Consult the book. Okay. Well, um, 
Particulars, I I would first of all I need to focus, and those are expensive. Um, I could I see would, if we could borrow one from the vault. That well, that's not quite the point. Helpful. What I'm thinking, it, it it's expensive, so they have to have some sort of high income traffic somewhere. Not only that, but they would have to be within a specific distance in order to play something like that in Brort's. Uh, office wouldn't he or access to a focus hmm you know who would i think small though hmm. it doesn't have to be big yeah it's about anything from like a crystal ball to a silver mirror as long as if, it's worth a certain amount of uh if i was as long a, as it's worth a certain amount yes if i was a betting man and i am i would say that one of the ukuloths is actually somewhere in the council or in regular day-to-day -day where Brork is. And they have to have access to a lot of money or some kind of really big underground trade. There's also, also one other option we haven't considered yet. What's that? Our info broker. Oh, we gotta find him, too. Why you... uh, Meryl kind of perks up and goes, are you looking for a hoss, Rob? Yes, yes actually. Yeah, he's staying at my house. He's staying, quotation marks. Oh. oh, wait a second. And your parents are okay with this. I mean, he's paying us money, so it's like a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Call. He never did that at our place. I mean, we're feeding him, too. Oh, I guess... Mm. She what kind did of you do? <laughs> wait a minute. We got could hustled. Retroact just, just from what I know about Hasrod, could I sort of gauge his magical prowess retroactively at, at all? Sure. Roll an Arcana check. He did cast a spell on me when we first met. This Arcana check is going to be 23. The man has tricks, not spells. I mean, he might have some spells, but they're not, like, he's not a spellcaster. He does have uh, a spell. He resurrected a child. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that was a ritual, and yeah, also blood, very bad for him. Yeah, that's, so. that's like blood magic or something. Yeah. Uh, well, given what I know about Hasrod, I, I don't think he's just that magically capable, to be perfectly honest. No, but he does know how to get intel. And even if he doesn't know anything, he knows how to get info. He has survived right. this long on his guiles. All right, but well, us leaving the city would probably be, not be a good idea, so... You're probably not, not allowed to... Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... That, but Tash just, like, looks at Kay and then looks back to Meryl. Right, anyway. Uh, Meryl... I wonder if my I, mom I, would know. I'm gonna write her. I'm gonna write Hasrod a note. Can you deliver this to him? Basically, just saying like, "Hey, respond back if you know anything about this." Oh, uh, bef before you do that, task. Actually, do you mind if I write it a above game? I want illusionary script it just in case it gets intercepted. Good idea. All right. Sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can finally use that stupid spell. So, so basically, we just want to give him a letter that says, "Get him up to speed. Figure out what's going on. Does he know anything?" Uh, okay. Let me let me give it a click here. Um, mm. There we go. So for ten okay. for ten days, only Hasrod uh, will be able to read it. Okay. So you hand it you hand it to Meryl folded. Oh, and... one one caveat: he destroyed after he reads it. He has to destroy it after he reads. He it? needs un unless he can unless he can leave within that ten day period. It would be beneficial for him to destroy it. Otherwise, oh, it's incriminating evidence. Wait, there's one more thing, because this is Hasrod as well. Task slips Meryl 100 gold. Oh, yeah, that speaks. All right, for sure. She kind of puts that in her pocket. I imagine Task, like, takes some tape and just tapes a gold piece to it. Get yeah, over I here. Yeah, that's my brain. That was my brain yep. put it to as well. Just like... Right there. All right, she heads out. Okay. Cool. So, in the meantime... How are you guys? You're getting us to the high district. Uh, she, kinda, she looks very like, uh-oh. Yep. I mean, if nothing else, we could go talk to Sully about it. Maybe, yeah. I mean, um, I just would probably steer clear of any of um, Stendon's other men. Well, of course. We don't really know what's going on. Borf will want to fight you. Borf will want to fight you. Cole will probably be pretty upset. So, do um, they not even believe in their own law of innocent until proven guilty? Well, they do, but you know, Stendon 
you know, the guards mean a lot to us here, and it's if Brooke didn't talk to me, I probably wouldn't talk to you. It, it's not that say that you're in, you're guilty, but it's just you know. It's... Wow, it's so nice to know that everyone has such fucking like high regard for us after all the shit we've done for here. Look, it's just I mean, like I mean, Doros vouches for you. Doros has your back, and I'm sure all those men have your back. But it's like we don't know you that well, and uh, frankly, I think you're pretty great so far. If that matters, um, it does. So you know. If well, you want to go talk to Soliandris, I guess we could go up there. Uh, just know whatever we do from now on is evidence in a way. So, Well, then let's start that off by being the most crystal clear and least offensive by going to talk to some people, particularly our employer. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Unless you guys have other ideas. Don't let me, <laughs> don't let me hold everyone up. Mm, I wonder what my mother would know about any of this she seems to be the most knowledgeable when it comes to the infernal at least out of us that's not a bad idea i could give her a ring she hasn't left the city at least i don't think she hasn't let me know if she has besides i need to uh i'm wanting to talk to her for a while we've been so busy i haven't really gotten an opportunity hi mom sure. we got arrested <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't, well Mom, whatever, you whatever, have, whatever you do, don't leave. Don't, don't leave with that, Patty. Don't start. Don't start off by saying, "Hey, Mom, I, I got arrested." You start off with, "Hey, Mom, I'm expanding my private business." Hmm? Uh, well, you, you know, bury uh, the lead. Bury it. She anyway. doesn't need to know what she doesn't need to know. In any so, case, ask Borky. How about you? Oh, I'm okay. What's up? I mean, ideas. Oh. <clears throat> uh, you joke, but I do want to find out what a Yugoloth just adores. If we can find out what the ultimate bait to a Yugoloth is, yeah, that's what if I'd anyone, like to put my time on it. If anyone panics, Mom may know that. Don't forget, you also have a researcher, too. Yep. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. about to say, is he working now? Yeah, do they have a library Question. accessible? You or? haven't seen it, it's upstairs. Oh, I imagine. Well, let, let, let's see what's complete in the new digs, then. I'm going to go rent some right. movies. Given what I know about you, Goloths, already, I'm going to assume they love the foolish and the desperate. That's all. <laughs> hard us. looks at Porky. Hard <laughs> looks at. <Yeah. laughs> oh, man. Guys, Shots guys, well, guys, doesn't... guys. He doesn't necessarily describe me as desperate. No, just simply foolish. I mean, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm foolish. No, That's you true. Could, you could pretend to be. Oh, I totally could. I see. I shall need a disguise. Well, let's go talk to our librarian first and Wait, then move on. Did, didn't we have like a helmet of some, or something that we hit your face with at some point? Yeah, yeah I gave it to Greco's as a present. I gave that back to you, didn't I? No, I, you still have it. Oh. What was that? Just a helmet of disguise self? It, or? Was, it was actually a cloak. Yeah, instead of him having to touch himself to to change form, they could just wear this instead. I was going to do it, but then I realized I was hiding being an orc, and I um, want to be a bit more proud about that, even when I'm outside of Alavast. So, decided to stray away from that. So, who has the cloak? That's totally... Uh, Greco's totally above has Above game, it. I guess I do? You but never yeah, whoever, have whoever You have it. You, you it. totally have it. Okay, don't forget, great. Don't, don't forget what those are made out of. Um... I, I see. I wasn't aware of that until just now, but I figured I would have seen the skin. Magic. Yeah. Okay. In that case, just above game, because if I had known that, I would have this discussion anyway. Do any of you have a problem with returning that to every man? Really? I mean, a lot. I don't I, know. Do you want? Do you I want Yango to come back up and kill us? Well, that, it I, would I, give us some clout down there as well. Yes, Abby's. it would. In in uh, in universe, do we know what it is? Was it told yeah, to us? Yeah, you, you guys. You yeah, we've told. had one yeah. before. Yeah, yeah we, we had, had the hat, before. and it's the yeah. exact same this material. Is, this is news to Borky. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah. Disguise no. items, disguise self, and alter self items are made with changeling skin. Oh. So that was maybe we could... I thought, I thought that was synthetic changeling skin. It's real? Bad news. Panic, if you want to take that down to every man and possibly get some more clout, that might not be a bad idea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just sort of looking at him really hard right now, just like, whoa, looking at him, back to Kay, back at him. 
Kay is like holding the quill above the 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 like the clipboard. She just slowly starts writing some notes down. I mean, how it was made by Nine, though. He Nine had it. Nine did not make it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm go. gonna do an insight on Kay real quick. Yeah. Absolutely. Guys, we have a fucking babysitter. That's just the point. We can't be sneaky or do any stupid shit. Thirteen. <laughs> 13. She definitely put a, a note, probably a very important note, down. It's been underlined five or six times and circled once. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit hesitant to give it back uh, to every man because um, I spent a lot... If you have contraband, you want to be kept safe, I can take it and provide it to one of the guards to put in a vault. That yeah, well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, no, what, yeah. oh, exactly. no, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, 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 a vault? Oh, next, I mean, if we do that, someone might just let anyone in randomly and look at stuff. That's not good security. Nice callback. Thank you. <laughs> well. How about you put it somewhere safe for now? If it's illegal contraband, we'll look at it. And if not, then it's up to you. I got it. Borky, Borky takes it out of, like, Borky kind of takes it off what I'm going to assume uh, Greckel's belt. It was just on the back he didn't see. I, I guess. Borky takes it. Where's, <laughs> his, where's, his, where's his shovel? Where's his shovel? Borky takes, is there a shovel nearby? Oh, There's a shovel hell. in the back courtyard where they're putting planting plants currently. Mm -hmm. We're making Borky a just, scene out of this. Borky, Borky just takes a shovel and starts digging in one of the gardens. <laughs> okay. I'm going I, to the library. I'm going to. Uh, Kay is kind of caught between the two of you. Hold on. What, you watch as she snaps her fingers and you watch as... <clears throat> Oh, God. What is she going to have, actually? That's a good point. Oh, she has a bat. That's right. You watch as a little bat shows up on her arm. And she kind of whispers to it and goes, oh, just follow him, okay? And she kind of lets the bat go. And the bat goes over and flies onto Borky's back. It's very tiny. It's like a little tiny little bat. Nice. Okay. We're good. Uh, library? Let's go to library. Yay, books. Yay, books. All right. You guys head up the stairs. Oh, there's uh, a rock! <laughs> You guys make your way up and you see like boxes upon boxes and crates upon crates of various old tomes and old books and leaflets, loose papers, uh, easily notes and study. Uh, and you see a little construct about the size of log, uh, a little bit different in stature. He's, he's wearing like like a little like little boy's shirt and like overalls, like human clothes. Um, no, no hair on the head. It's just a little round head with like a singular ocular eye in the center of it that kind of moves around. It almost looks like a, like a lantern, like a, like a mm. lantern front with like the little eye kind of moving around. Oh, so it looks uh, like the, it looks like the AI co uh, course from a uh, portal. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's a good mm. way to put it. Um, and you watch as it's kind of like grabbing a pile of books and going into this room and then coming out and it kind of looks up and turns towards you and goes, Hi. Oh, there's another one. Yes, hello. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, he just goes inside the room. <laughs> uh, oh, okay then. Well, awesome. Uh, let's go inside and see if <clears throat> it's working. If things are working out. You currently see um, you currently see Enceladus like like putting together a shelf. He goes, oh, the instructions on these things are horrible. Okay, just like that. Good. Now just hammer in gently. Ah, oh, nice. <clears throat> He watches the shelf kind of <laughs> grinds like this. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Hi. Yes. Hi. How's it going? Uh, it's a little bit of a mess in here, um, but it's going swimmingly. How are you? We're doing quite well. We just wanted to see if there was... We understand you have just recently only moved in here and you're getting stuff put together, but it was it possible that we could actually require uh, take use of your services now or is this not a good time? Oh, already? Yeah, absolutely. What are you looking for? We need information on, uh, and then Greco's leans in close and like gestures with a talent to, for him to lean in. Oh, yeah, he leans in. Yugoloths. Yugoloths, <laughs> Yugoloths. Uh, all right, let me take a look here and see if I can find them. So he's going to roll with disadvantage because he doesn't have everything organized, but he's going right. to do an investigation check here for his stuff. But he's going to try. So. Is it bad that I'm paranoid that he's one of them? <laughs> 
Wow. I'm paranoid That's everyone's one of them at this point. just hired him. Uh, How he convenient. Watch, he watches Enceladus. Actually, he rolled a 15 and an 18, plus a high amount of intelligence. That's so pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, pretty good. Um, he watches. He finds the exact box he needs to find. Uh, and he kind of is like trying to lift up the box. He goes, uh, uh, Mutron, if you wouldn't mind. And the little little construct kind of scrambles over and just lifts up the box. And he starts flipping through almost like records in a record store. And so eventually his pinky hits a book and he gently sleeves out this book. Yugaloth, Yugaloth. And he kind of sits down in a chair with this very small leaflet sized book. Uh, what Were you looking for something specifically or just Some general knowledge? Telltale signs, something that we could use to actually search one. Behaviors, uh, possible regular locations, uh, anything. I mean, As if you were asking a hunter this question. A hunter this question. Um, well, if we were to track I would, it. I would say, he's kind of flipping through his locations. Well, they tend to live in the abyss as well as the, the hells, the plains of hell. Um, not a very good place to be. Um, it says here, they tend to evoke battles between demon gods and devil gods alike. Um, let's see. Uh, they tend to be, ooh, this is rather nasty. <laughs> they tend to hire on both demons and devils to do some of their dirty work for them. So that would be something worth knowing, I think. Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, Anything yeah. about their work on the material plane? Uh, they love to uh, usurp, I'm seeing here, usurp government types, specifically in places of evolving or new locations or well-kept secrets or locations that have a long history of political and, oh, wordy, oh my gods, uh, political and substantial sociological impact. They tend to also hire their services to others, so it might not be so much the Yugoloth's job, but they might be doing it for someone else, assuming that's what you're looking for. Uh, they definitely are deal makers, so I would not recommend making a deal if you meet one. Um, I feel the clerical district might be our first stop. Looking for anyone looking. Now perhaps your best bet would be to find a demon or a devil and then go from there. Perhaps there's been activity. Wouldn't hurt oh. to ask around. All right, very well. Well, thank you for your assistance. I'm sorry, it's not much work. I, I'm sure I have more tombs on this. Would you like me to find more books on these? Or yes, please. Just... For the time Absolutely. being, yes. Absolutely, I would look into that for you. Uh, uh, Mudron, he watches the little concert, kind of goes up. Uh, the Y section, do that one first. And he kind of nods and then stumbles off. Monty, I'm sorry. I think you, like, I thought you called him Moobot at first. So I'm just like, exclamation mark, join the Unexpectables <laughs> Discord. Okay. <laughs> Mo Moodron is the Moodron, name. okay. Moodron, yeah. It's a reference to something. If someone can find out what the reference is, I'm sure the Discord will it's find it out pretty easily. It's familiar to me, at least. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Can I, I, I'll say what it is at the end of the episode. Anyway. You watch as Enceladus and, and uh, Mudron go in and they start to like just organizing books and setting up shelves and stuff. Definitely it feels like a moving into a dorm situation, but at least he found something at the very least. That's fair. Uh, I, I'll just look to Greckles and I guess Kay is hovering over us and it's getting a little annoying at this point. But anyway, I look over to Greckles. Mm -hmm. They're Infernals and seeing Infernals fight against each other and who fights Infernals better than the Divinity. Unfortunately, we don't know too many Infernals. That's not the point. I feel that a good way to stay in plain sight, but to also work at their own goals and watch devils and, de and demons go at it would be people who combat devils and demons. So I say the clergy district might be a good place to start. That would be go a good place to start, but hearing them talk about usurping government types of new locations and well-kept secrets, Alvas is ripe with both. Religion is powerful, why they're too. probably here. Hmm. Exactly. Mm. Sorry, them. it might it might just be me. I just feel religion is a little bit more of a powerful force than No, it, ab it absolutely is. That's that's definitely where we should probably go next. But to which one? Okay. Any suggestions? Uh, I mean I know Avon clerics. What what okay, here's a better question. Uh who in the High Council has the highest clout in any religion that they govern? Um, I probably would be Lady Isla in the Hoketh. Clergy. 
that makes way too much fucking sense. A I mean, clergy she, about death and devils and all that nonsense. Well, I mean more in the sense that, uh, I mean, I thought, uh, sorry, I got confused by your question. I thought you said who the most powerful person would be against devils. Uh, probably, especially these types of devils, probably the Illinois clergy actually would probably be the one. They're all about revealing truths and anything hiding secretly they probably would absolutely hate. I say we try that. The highest district where there's anything Illinois. I believe that's also where Lady Soliandris is staying, isn't it? That is correct. So that would actually be very easy to accomplish. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Well, um, that's going to be on you guys. I don't think I can arrange a meeting with um, with the leader of the Illini clergy. Well, that's fine. We can do that on our end as well. It would okay. be nice to let Sully know what's going on in the first place. Probably a good idea. Um... In the meantime, Borky, at this point, you finished your hole. Remy, where uh, are you? Just, Borky's just doing that smack, smack with the spade shovel. There we go, Joyweech. Just put a bunch of trees around that. It's good. Re Remy spent this whole time trying to, like, get through the sea of dwarves to get into the building. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's it's like not outside for 45 he's, he's minutes. Just, he's at one of the tables going over his notes, uh, writing stuff down. That's all he's been doing since he got up. Smedgy's, like, with the... the pad of paper and a coffee it's with his legs it's crossed. It's literally you with a coffee cup and a newspaper and then I, 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 in the background of all these dwarves just running back and forth. He's been reading the sports section for hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever we can meet up with the rest of the group and kind of go yeah. over the options. So, but let, I, I say we let everyone else do what they do and then we'll just yeah. come together and compare notes. Oh, well, Borky's cool. digging a well-made hole. Borky's done with the hole. Ah, oh, it's okay. good work. It's good work, Borky. <sighs> uh, you guys sit down for a bit, kind of rest. Um, and eventually, uh, Meryl does come back, and Hostrod is there in a very shitty human disguise. It's like a scarecrow head over his snake head. <laughs> he's wearing a like burlap a... sap over his head. Yeah, and he's got, like, a really bad jacket on, and he's wearing, like, thick... He looks like he's wearing a scarecrow. Like, straight up, he just looks like he just took the clothes off of a scarecrow and showed up. Is it fucking easy to spot it's him? Oh, yeah. It's so can, bad. Uh, can I, hello can, there, human. Can I roll a perception check? Sure. Please. Go ahead, roll a perception Please. check. On, the, on what, the off chance you fail, or...? Yeah, pretty Damn much. it, 15. 15. It's a shitty disguise. It's a DC fucking four. So yeah, you know it's him. He watches he walks in and slides in the table next to you and goes, Hello, my name is John. Hello, John. It's John, you moron. I mean, it's John. Yep, that's me. Tash just grins at him. Look, what the fuck do you want? Well, you got our letter, didn't you? Yeah, I got your letter. What do you want? We need info. You know how this works. On? Yugoloths. Yugoloths. Uh, what do I, you want to know? And if you got we spare time, where'd you get that outfit? We're trying I to find a one. Field. <laughs> yeah? We're trying to track one down. Any sort of lead will at least get us started. I'm trying to track several down, actually. Well, uh... <sighs> I guess they'd be the same sort of character as me wanting information, huh? So you but you but like invisible. So if I were hmm, he just watches he kinda like vibrates with the thoughts. Well definitely the underbelly's out. None of them would probably want to stick around there. Information yeah, there is probably not. Not the greatest. Eh, lower districts scratch all those off. Any info there's easy to get. They could send an imp to do that shit. As for the high two stuff, the stuff that's the the most tight-lipped probably be the place I'd want to go. Uh, I mean, obviously the high districts would be one, but the Romantian might be another one. I'd check there. They have a really mm -hmm. non-discussion sort of ruling oh, there. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Hold up. Romantian, you say? Yeah. Oh my god, I mentioned that earlier. Oh my god! It's no, almost it's... like you're kind of good at this, Borky. I mean, to be fair, it's a place where a lot of very rich, very influential people go yeah! to talk about shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm. Now, yeah, most employees there have a rule where they're not allowed to talk about shit, which is how I can't get any dirt. But if you're in disguise, then what's stopping you then? I see. 
possibly the value of the disguise, looks over <laughs> up and down at his shitty disguise. Porky does the crazy old Maurice pose. Well, well, John, uh, riddle me this. If you were to think of any other place outside of the Romanchin, what does your gut feeling tell you to start? Uh, uh, he watches, just leers his head back. Beyond that, it's like losing uh, hay as he does it. Yeah, yeah, he literally, it's just like, <laughs> you hear just like this shifling noise, like a mouse, like a field mouse pops out. And he goes, ah, shit. Ah, God damn it. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Snake just freaking eats yeah, it. Scratch the dock district. God, maybe under other establishments. I and mean, then we found, we found a, a Yugoth under your place, didn't you? So. Yeah, but that was a completely different ring. Kay's face just like blows the fuck up. Like, what? No, Kay was there for that. Kay knows. Okay, Kay good. just kind of nods like, yep, I knew about that. And, and any Yugoloth worth their salt and intelligence wouldn't come back to the scene of the crime. Oh, God, no, they're not like me. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> John's talking. Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Uh, John, uh, hey, got a question for John. If you were doing a disguise, should I just go topless and just let the beef speak for itself at the Royal Mansion, or should I go theme? I mean, I would. <laughs> you're gonna go and you're gonna go and try and disguise yourself and get into the Royal Mansion. Is that your plan? Yes. Yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, man, other place. I'm trying to think of what they would talk. I mean. <sighs> All the different council members have their favorite hangout places. If you want to find out where those are, that might be helpful. Or where they live, that'd be another good place. Who do you think the most powerful would be to look for, and how easy would they get? Would they be able to get to? The most powerful. I mean, Ayla Balton is probably the most powerful in terms of just like power of ability and power of you know what. Uh, definitely I'm scratch. More politics. politics wise. Eh. I mean, Bismati Primtash is likes to stick her nose and shit, so maybe she's a double-faced loser. I don't know. She's uh represents the king of Chelstonia. You know, that's always a really high sort of level. Wouldn't you know that, Remy? Huh? I'm sorry. Above game, really quick. Who was that again? She was that Dragonborn who was an asshole to you guys. No, no, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I just can't remember the name. What was it? Uh, Bismati Pr uh, Primtash. She, it makes oh. me angry to say it. It's just that. Like, yeah. <laughs> that. Bitch. <laughs> Ooh, Bosco. Bosco. Uh, you're burning. You're the, burning. Other, the other person would be Joza Muharad. He's a wood elf who represents the almond clergy. Almond's all about information, so that'd be my other guess. Uh, beyond that, I mean, you got all your other losers you can pick from. Yeah. I like, I like those last. I like those last two because Bismati does have a really unsettling demeanor when it comes to the including program of all the other races. Is it, B is it Bismati or Bismati? Uh, B-I-Z-M-A-T-I. Bismati. Bismati. Uh, I mean, in terms of city affairs, I mean, you look at, you think they're looking for specifically for like, like city development or like just like information or I mean, we're like thinking we're thinking since Alvast is so young and there's already enough turmoil going on that they may be trying to usurp the whole place. Uh, then I maybe would look at uh, Brothak Thunderbraids. He's in charge of a lot of infrastructure here. He represents the Gromoth clergy as well, maybe. Uh, beyond that, I'd say the Nerasman Collective, but that's Edward and Ronzo, and trust me, if, I mean, he keeps his friends close, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> nah. Shadow Man. <laughs> no. God damn it. Mm. Beyond that, though, with your hundred gold pieces, I'm afraid that's all I got. That's a tricky one for me. People well, I've never met before. Well, thanks for your help, John. Yes, thank John you. John out. He just stands up and does like double finger crossbows and walks backwards, falls over an orb. Ah, shit! And just falls on his back. I'd imagine he <laughs> runs into a wall on his way out. <laughs> <laughs> and he watches like Meryl's kind of standing there. She goes, put it back when you get home. Oh, whatever. Hey, guys, is it just me? <laughs> that guy remind you of Hasrad? Yes. Task slams his face into the fucking table. Porky, you succeeded your check. <laughs> 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 I will not let a dice ruin a good one. <laughs> I suggest that we go talk to Sully about this, and while we're there, Task, you might be able to scope out the place a little bit better than any of us, any else of us could. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. I, I say mean, after that, we 
I, I say afterwards, then we head to the uh, the clergy district, and then we'll go to the Romansion next. Exactly. Oh, I'll boy. work on my costume for the Romansion. All right, so you guys are heading up to the high district with K. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, so easy enough, simple. K has all the papers for you guys, and you're, like, you're... She's a machine. Like, she goes. Um, you haven't really seen her do anything else except for do her job. Um, but she's doing it very efficiently. And it's almost like a kind of in a weird, weird kind of perfectionist sort of way. But in a sense of not being like, this has to be perfect. But it's like, I want to be the most efficient human being here. Um, so usually it would take you guys like a few five to ten minutes to get through into the high district. Takes her like as little as two minutes. The moment any identification is asked for, she has it exactly where it needs to be. It's very impressive. A uh, Borky whispers into Panic's ear. You know, if if she's let go by the city, you should hire her as a manager. I think I think she can keep pretty detailed notes. Panic. What for me? Yeah, it's like they, they she can uh track all the digits of girls in different area codes. I, I don't think I need anybody keeping track of anything about me. To be perfectly honest with you. She wanna live off the grid, huh? Borky boss's eyebrows. <laughs> I, I mean <laughs> I just don't need people just, I just don't need people keeping track of everything that goes on in my life, you know? I have to have some privacy. Dad is sneezing upstairs and it's so loud. I hear it! <laughs> Bless you! I thought it sounded it sounded like a dog for a minute. Whoa! Oh, it's, my dad. it's you know what it's it, it, you know what it sounds like a long lost uh, Mario enemy. That's what it sounds it like. It really does. It really does. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. I just um, whoop. Yeah, it's whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you, Dad. That's the sound of the council members arguing about currency. That's what that noise whoa! is. You guys make your way. Wow! It's like a reverse hua. <laughs> If you guys make your way into the High Council District, a few eyes are on you, actually, as you make your way through um, various different people of influence, uh, paladins and clerics of high orders, giving you guys a bit of a side glance, not really as like a look at these assholes, but more of just like a, wow, they actually came up here. Cool. Sort of looks like almost like half impressed and also like half like, why are you here? <laughs> um, eventually, you guys make your way to the Illinay Temple, which is a very beautiful temple. You guys have been here, have been here before multiple times. Uh, as you make your way inside, uh, a immediately a cleric kind of meets with Kay, and Kay's just like, uh, we're here to see Lady Soliandris. Uh, here's the paperwork signed by Bork Bronsfang. Uh, here's my certification. Here are the individuals I'm bringing with me. And she just kind of goes through the entire thing, and the guy's like, actually, you, just, you can just go in. And she's like, oh, awesome, we can just, we can just go in. Great. Yes, we can just go in. <laughs> All right, I just sort guys... of stand there, press the digitation, blowing air through my hair, just looking proud. <laughs> you can't really see what the pa- what the actual clerics are. They're wearing, like, salad helmets and, like, really, really nice armor. You guys have seen um, Naragan's armor, but this is, like, next level. Uh, not only is it, like, metal armor, it also looks like it's made out of some sort of glass. Like, there's actual glass Ooh. pieces where you can see their tabards underneath, which are these light kind of, um, almost, like, light kind of oceany blue color. Um, the salad helms are just, it's very pretty. Bright silver armor, glass pieces. Excuse me. Glass pieces throughout, and their weapons are very, very ornate as well. Hey, very Monty. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. While as soon as we walk inside, I proc primeval awareness. Okay, you proc primeval awareness in the Illinne Temple. Uh, you detect no fiends here, except for panic, but he doesn't really count. You you know oh. it's panic. Well, we, we can keep this up for like ten minutes as we walk through. So I got a whole lot on this baby. The, the sense you get from panic is like the Lacroix of fiends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Huh. You hear what that? a description. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it, but I know it's not degraded. I don't know. I'm not it's, gonna make it's a statement. It's just no panic. It's just. <laughs> Anyway, you guys make your way inside. I'm um, nervous, so fucking insult. <laughs> Sorry. Do, do you guys want to like restart the session? I feel like we could kind of just go back into it, different energy. Just contain this. Uh, as you guys make your way inside, you guys have only ever been on the offset, like the side section of this temple when you've seen Sully before. You're actually inside of the main temple today. Um, 
you see there's a lot of kinetic statues made of glass here, like a lot of kinetic statues made out of glass, um, hanging from various ceiling parts. You see various different reliquaries, um, and the most standout-ish thing to you is a large statue. Uh, Greco, similar to like a Shisa statue you would mm -hmm. see. Uh, except for this one is made completely out of that beautiful, beautiful glass. Hmm. Uh, and it's of a very familiar form that you've seen before. It looks like Orin, but it's hmm. smaller and a little bit more like sleek in design. Like the nose is a less brutish looking and is a little bit more like elongated, almost wolf-like or tiger-like, but kind of pulled out a bit more. Beautifully elegant, long tail that comes up into like this orb sort of shape. Um roll a religion check anyone who wants to roll a religion check you may i i want to assume above game that that's just illinae or well 17 i will use my smelly soul to roll a religion check all right sorry smelly soul. uh that's gonna oh! be a natural one <laughs> two natural ones mm -hmm. yeah that's a weird Damn. cat they must really like cats in this religion no if we're not fucking up <laughs> all right if go ahead reroll it's okay, Connor. I see We're not having that RC state on the sections. Hiya! Alright. 17. Uh, Greckles and Task. Remy, you look at that. You don't know too much about Ilene. It's not really a heavily worshipped god where you're from. Mm -hmm. um, Vetrion seems to be kind of the main god there. Um, but uh, Greckles and Panic, as you guys look at the statue, it is a statue of Ilene, a depiction mm -hmm. of Ilene. And the orb in the center, based on your experience, is the material plane. It represents the material plane. So it's the gaze of Illinay on the material plane is kind of the, the mm. theme of this. Uh, the theme of this sort of statue. Oh no, what happened to my music? Holy crap. <gasps> oh no, they updated it and all my folders opened. Oh. No, it's all the music at once! I have oh, a lot of folders. Oh my god, this is terrible. Uh, sorry, give me one second here. Uh, yeah, sure. No, no, no worries here. There we go. I got it. We're good. That okay. literally took me one second. One All right. Uh, as you guys make your way inside, you see Solly. She's in front of the statue currently, talking with a uh, very tall, uh, elven woman. Uh, you see, uh, she is a high elf, uh, and her hair is kind of like this almost silvery kind of bluish color, very natural color though. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice, like almost pale moon colored skin. Uh, eyes of, gr of this sort of bluish green and she's kind of speaking with her and she goes, I understand, yes, of course, but I do consider as well. Um, and if you wouldn't mind doing a... a oh, and she kind of turns and looks to you and Sally goes, oh, oh guys, hi. Hey, sorry Howdy. for the interruption. No, no worries. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 Sionia, this is uh, my charge, my mercenaries that I have. And she goes, yes, I've heard about you. Um, I'm very sorry about your incorrect arrest the other day. Um, oh, it's, 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 okay. it's okay. We weren't the ones injured. I hope that Ilone will soon reveal the truth to the Avon clergy and they will understand what has truly happened for you. Anyone who is willing to cloud the mind of an individual truly is an evil creature. Um, I assume this is a meeting between you and Sully. I should probably leave. If that's all right. Certainly. Uh, Sally Andrews, if you need me, you know where I am. She nods and she walks off. So, um, I heard what happened. Yeah. Yep. But I vouched for you and, um... Hmm. We wanted uh, to talk about that in a, uh, kind of a secure location. Uh, we could go into the awning that we've talked in before. Alright, that'd be fine. And she leads you guys in there. Uh, Kay Ooh. is going to cast Detect Magic when you guys get in there. Okay, good, because I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, so she casts Detect Magic. Uh, as she kind of looks around in the awning, she gives you guys a nod like it's clear. Like okay. Good. So what's up? Um, I sent um, everyone out to kind of gather some information for some other things, but um, it's just me. I hope that's enough. No, it's more than enough. More of a house call. A uh, part of this is also a house call to see if I can actually sneak, uh, if I can peek out any information. Ta hmm. Tass, like taps his eyes and shows that like there's a little bit of energy ebbing out of it. Uh, you notice that Kay just kind of is like, oh yeah, and she kind of puts up her finger like that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> um, oh, so just popping in, I guess, or 
it this visit was twofold. It was one to investigate the general area and two to let you know we cannot leave the city until we figure out this uh problem. Mm, the problem and she gives you a wink. Yeah. I'm trying to gather information on that myself, but um I mean, it's only been a day, so I haven't really heard back. Quarion's really good at that, but... Um... Did no one else... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, go, go ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead, dude. Did none of... Uh, I don't mean to sound like any of us were slacking in our in our search when you had us all go out at the same time, but was there any other information that kind of like adds up to anything that we've seen based on your entourage's little uh, bit of info? Well, nothing really. I haven't heard back from anyone just yet, um, except for Quarion, who hasn't found anything. Um, I think it's specifically attacked, if I'm to be honest. I think either it was specifically against you guys or against me, based on what I'm hearing. So, well, one of the things we want to ask is if you possibly had any leads whatsoever. Uh, from the information that we have, it's very likely that wherever these things are, they're infiltrating the high district. Uh, possibly some places where people in the high district would like to schmooze, but that's further down the list. Oh, I mean, surely there have been some high-class people coming through here that may have mentioned one or two establishments that they frequent. You can roll a intelligence. Not bad. Uh, there is a place, um, mostly... Uh, Hammernar and sort of the dwarven upper class infrastructure people go to quite often. Uh, it's called the Dancing Duragar. Okay. Hmm. It's um, it's like a smoking parlor, I guess. They pipes and things like that. I, I don't like that stuff, so I don't really go. Hmm. It's called the smoking what again? Duragar. It's called the Dancing Duragar. It's like a it's like a cigar bar, I guess. Whatever that equivalent would be. Yeah, it's like know. a hookah lounge. Yeah. Yeah, like a smokehouse in a way. Yeah. It's a dwarven place. Um, you know, they have, like, really nice food and drink and that sort of thing. Wait. That's not the only place I know of. Panic. Yes. Does, does Hammernar still owe you a date? I'm not sure if date is the right word, but... Uh, you you we know what I'm We haven't hung out in a while, yeah. That might be something that you could specifically help out with. Okay. Well, unfortunately, he's in a meeting today, so I don't think you'll be able to catch him for the next little bit. So I have a okay. question. Yeah. Has anyone from the council come uh, uh, come at you about this whole situation, or has shown any aggression towards any of the politics running in the city as of late, at least within the last 72 hours? I mean, I wasn't in that meeting. I should have been, but I wasn't. I bet, um, I bet you that one old elf lady has some grudges. Which old elf? I forget her name. Oh, Irma? She doesn't yeah. involve herself here, so probably not. I also have a... T a Tess looks over at Kay and, like, are you sure that, like, this place is clean? She kind of... She gives you the okay symbol. Okay. Bismati is not found of us. She's not found of other races that don't fall in line with a lot of other things. I don't like that. I noticed that, yes, but I don't know if that's incriminating, to be honest. There's a lot of people in the council who are jerks, to be honest, but it doesn't mean they're going to be a demon. Or fiend, no, sorry. but at the same... Well, that's all fine and good, but anyone who's in a position of power, unfortunately, is kind of on a high priority list for us in this investigation. I'm trying to think who might have... I mean, Brock came and talked to me about it. This morning, so we had a conversation about it, but <sighs> everyone's not wanting to jump to any conclusions. There's a really good sense of unease, and I think whatever's doing this is very smart. So, mm. I've said this to the fellas as well, but religion is a very high political power. Do you believe that there might be a chance that? this creature is hiding anywhere in a certain religion sect? Hmm. Well, if they're magical, maybe the Nerasman Collective. That's Edward and Wabzo. Uh, I don't know him that well. Um, I mean, does anybody really? 
Uh, I mean, the Aspa clergy deals with trade goods. Um, is nature. Ginter is obviously agriculture. Um, there's the Orthoc clergy as well. Um, but... Do you think that Lady Isla would have time to talk to us? Um, I could see if you'd like me to. That, that would be great. Be beneficial. Okay. Uh, yeah, come with me. She stands up. Oh. Right now, oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, all right, yeah. there I go. Hey, here she there runs. Go. There goes. There she goes. <laughs> I mean, if if you if you're ready, I mean, I, I, uh, I time is their time is kind of precious, so the sooner rather than later. Yeah, no, that's completely fine. I, just yeah, Gre yeah. So soon. Greco's, Greco's, it's okay. I know you did that judge thing with her, but she's not gonna bite your head off. No, but she might read my fortune. He, as he says, like sweating. If birds could sweat. <laughs> as you guys walk. <laughs> Uh, Remy, uh, Sully whispers something to you. Uh, As you guys are kind of chatting and walking, she kind of walks up to you and he goes, uh, Remy, I have a question for you. Yes, me lady? Um, she kind of leans in close. Have you ever been married? <laughs> <laughs> now oh. Remy fucking realistic bird faces. Oh, God, why? <laughs> oh. All right, hang on. <clears throat> Episode title, Bird Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I have not. Oh, your parents never arranged anything, or...? Um... Let's just say I was not subject to what you're currently going through, no. Oh. Or at least it, nothing came to fruition. <clears throat> okay. Sorry for making you uncomfortable. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, no, what, what are you concerned about? Is this I about just, Brork? Well, I just wanted to know what it's like in this situation getting the married um so getting I, the married <laughs> so what i can tell you having seen it quite often people of my stature typically don't get married for sentimental reasons there's normally maneuvering for power for partnership for protection numerous things none of which are romantic or storybook and mm -hmm. I, I didn't know how to tell Greckles, but Azamar and Periton don't get married. I see. It's... Uh, I never learned anything about that, so I'm just kind of... I just don't know. Um, I'll read into it a bit more. Thank you. Yes, of course. Uh, if, you ever, if you ever need anything, you let me know. I try not to pry into your... Personal matters. Oh, of course, yes, of course. Thank you. Could I, I could I roll to see if I can hear that? Sure, absolutely. I would say <sighs> only one person can, so I'm going to give it to Panic because he's right. on it first. Perception. Yep. Come Better on. Roll high, buddy. <laughs> yes. Don't forget me. To, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nope. Bum 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 bum. Oh, it's for the best. Panic is, think, Panic is too busy thinking. Yeah. Man, how come no one reacted to me being like. Really smelly with Toe and Ma. It's crazy. All right. I'm like you the only guy in Alabast. Why aren't they paying attention to me? I'm paying attention to you, Panic. You make your clapping. way Thanks, into Panic. the Hokef Temple. I can't uh, see you right now, Panic. A a task like rubs his eyes. You guys make your way into the Hokef Temple. Kay is like, just like frothing. She's like, two temples in one day? Oh, the paperwork. She's like so giddy and excited. <laughs> Money, can um, we, just, just for just just because I'm curious, can I like sleight of hand eyeball her notes? Sure, absolutely. So, it, would that be a would that be a sleight of hand? Percept. This would be perception. perception? Okay. Unless you're trying to steal her notes. Let's no, see. let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, let's let's read that. the nerd girls. Fucking ah, that 24 on the other side, only an eight. You kind of like lean your head above her shoulder just to kind of take a peek. You know when you look at code, like when you accidentally hit the HTML code sure. thing on your computer, and That's it's just all this gibberish that makes no sense. <laughs> That's what F. it looks like. Oh, it looks God. like literally like enter district this happened this that that and this other thing. It literally looks like she's coding on her like papers. It's oh. very strange. Oh Fantastic. God! You press control. You press control Y on her notes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys eventually make your way into the Hoketh Temple, um, and you ask for Lady Isla, and she does present herself. She kind of walks in, and she smells like like a lot of different things. She oh. smells like in she smells like incense. 
and sage and a bunch of other things. And she kind of walks in. Her eyes always that half sort of open expression. Hi. She just took her one hitter. Just went for it. Just. <laughs> do I do I get anything pinged, Monty? Uh, you're pinging for that. Yeah. Now you don't get anything. Okay. It is yeah. a mile. Yeah. Yeah, it I is know a mile, a... But... Dude, you don't know. Big Maybe the temples, thing fucking man. walks into my radius. That's These fair. are big temples. Yeah. Um, Isla kind of just blinks. It's like, can I help you? Um, uh, sorry to disturb you, Lady Isla, but, uh, we wondered if you had time for a few questions. Yeah, okay. <laughs> God damn it, this God. Borky's just staring with concern constantly around her, by the way. What's Panic doing right now? I am sort of plucking idly on my... Oh, I don't know if they let me do this, actually. Um, I, I look to K first. Uh, they'll always whisper, Hey, do you still have the deck magic on? She nods. Okay. Uh, I stop playing then. You see K kind of looking around. This is a very big open chamber compared to the LNA one. This temple is huge. It's very big. Mm -hmm. Does she give the okay? Yeah, K kind of gives you a thumbs okay. up. Um... Lady Alia, I'm not sure how much you know about what may have happened with us, but we're on the lookout for something relatively fiendish, <laughs> you might say. He's easy. He's visually sweating in her presence. So he's getting trans. His his like fucking feathers are getting that, that translucent glow on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the mm -hmm. last the last interaction he had with her was fucking crazy. So. Uh, uh -huh. sp specifically, if you had any knowledge about the uh, fiends known as uh, Yukaloths. Hmm. Nope. Ah, I, I see. Well, ha, uh -huh, beans. Um, All right, and how about this? Then we'll go into these questions. Then, has there any? Has there been any troublings within your sect for uh, like any troublings or any uh, ill goings that have? Uh, raised your interest a necromancer ran off with a very special orb a long time ago right the beat of hokath I, yeah I well assume nothing ever came of that she kind of just like does like the very the slowest shrug like her head kind of turns into her shoulder and she kind of like, like mm. what happened with did you catch it did you catch the necromancer i don't think that information's for you to know oh damn yeah, it's fair mm. There was quite an uproar when it happened. I assume it's when it happened. Have, has anyone of a high position of political power uh, interacted with you in the last 72 hours? Just her face slowly creeps into a smile. <laughs> God Kay, damn it! Kay, Kay taps you on the shoulder task and leans down and goes, We're in the high district, man. We're in the. Never mind. She kind of just looks forward and goes back to her note. <laughs> Borky head desks. <laughs> Even Borky's <laughs> book. My God. Um, Lady Isla, I, we don't mean to take any more of your time than necessary. Is are, are there any resources we might be able to find more information on uh, these things that we're trying to track? She just does another shrug. Fuck. Roll a knowledge religion. This real fucking fast. went nowhere then. Lady Isla feels does not feel strong one way or since, the other. Since I'm since I'm trained in religion, could I also? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Twenty one. Twenty one. Right. Yeah. This is for all the Three. shitty rolls from Jess. There I go. Yeah. Twenty two. So you two, you two, uh. as you're standing here, realize, oh, we're morons. The Hokath Temple doesn't deal with demons or devils often. They deal with undead the most. I so they don't know. I yeah, they're. They're not exactly demon devil savvy. I mean, they know they have holy water and stuff, but they focus more on undead. So they well, would at least probably care too much about. At least we know that Isla is not under is not under the influence of a fiend because of Task. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So that rules that rules her out. Um, are there any? Could I do another religion check to see if there are any sects in town that do deal with devils and demons specifically? Uh, Ilene was the main one, but you guys sent uh, Sionia right. on her way, so. Well, it's fine. I can bleed another spell slot to do this again, so it's not a big deal. I mean, yeah, we we already we already did it for. We already did it here. Uh, Borky kind of right. scratches his head after the 
silence. Um, Miss Isla, if if you don't if you don't normally deal with this, since you seem to be a freakishly w- wise person, who would we speak to best about this? Brock. Yeah, he's a fun guy to talk to. <laughs> she slowly starts <laughs> laughing and slowly turns towards you, Greckles. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Realistic bird face! <laughs> I don't get it, but okay. Uh, there may be one other person that I think we can talk to then, or at least might give us a little bit of an idea. Doros did... Uh, Doros did bring me to a fellow to actually dispose of the de- uh, the demon crown that I had before. Maybe he can help us with something. That's a great idea. Oh, That's there's really a good guy idea. like that in town? There's a demon hunter in town, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, why did, why did we come up here? I mean, see, Sully's great and Lady Isla ravishing as always. Hey. We, 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 was in, we was in the underdark for too long. Boy, he's just scratching his head and walking out. I didn't want to say anything above game, but I'm pretty sure like Task gave that hunter like a helmet or something. I did. Yeah. I, ga- I yeah. gave him. I gave him my other the de- the devil crown helmet so he could destroy it. Yep. Do you remember like... what accent he had? Because I don't. I actually don't remember uh, what voice I did for him. You just he was like, sort of Cockney, I think. Yeah, it was oh, Cockney. I did, I like either Cockney, Cockney okay. or do Romanian because right. it can be Van Helsing. He was he was Circadian. I remember that now. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you guys slayer. want to go there. I, yeah. Let's go talk to him. All right. Yeah, it's kind of, this place is pretty broad and open, and there's, like, a lot of people, so it's kind of tricky to be going temple to temple. Plus, the more temples you go to, the more people are kind of staring at you guys. Oh, well, fuck that's, them. Well, that's one, of the, that's one of the reasons we came here, because we went to talk to our boss, which makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, let's go. What's his name again? Tess, do you? Shit. That's a oh, Barnaby Bl- Barnaby Black. Oh, no. That's Barnaby a good Black. question, Mega Man. Barnaby Black? Was that his name? Barnaby, Barnaby Black? Black. I, I, yes, just... I think that's it. And it was a cowboy accent, apparently. Uh, Barnaby? I think it was Barnaby. Yeehaw. Shahalem, if you are, if you are there. Shahalem, if you are there, please. I remember because I kept no. wanting to call him Barnaby Jones. Barnaby yeah. Jones! His name was Barnaby, though, for sure, I yeah, think. Yeah, it was Barnaby. It was Barnaby Black, yeah. Barnaby Black, all right. Fair enough. So you guys make your way to that that area, which is very weird. It it I'm gonna say because you only ever went there once. Task roll a survival check for me to see if you can find the place. Oh please, let me roll that. But I hope I do good. A plus six. Uh, a ten. Ten. You get a little lost, um, and you guys have to stop for lunch because you got lost and you're hungry. Um, but eventually you guys do find the small hole-in-the-wall place that is Barnaby's demonology store, essentially, storefront or services. Mm. Ding, well, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, knock on the door. All right, you guys. Knock on the door. All right, come in. You hear a voice Walk from the inside. inside. Yeah. You see currently polishing a crossbow, a frazzled-looking halfling gentleman. Uh, currently has kind of like a, like a, almost like a cowboy style hat with kind of like a pointed rim in the front, uh, black attire with almost a bandolier of various different crossbow bolts. He goes, hi, it's the short one. Hmm. It's nice to see you as well. Got my parts for me. Uh, not necessarily, but I did come here to ask for your assistance on a matter. Got a demon problem, son. He watches, he kind of leans up on the counter and puts the, puts, pushes the crossbow out of the way and kind of leans. Do you count fiends as demons? I'd say so. Uh, (laughs) Poor panic. Then yes, you might just be the person we're looking for to help us in this situation. He watches Kay snaps her fingers multiple times to get your guys' attention. Uh, Yeah, Yeah. looking over. Hello. She juts her head to the, to the, to the top of the ceiling. Uh. Mm. Huh. These guys don't see anything. She is going to cast a spell magic. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Tass like look like it does. Barnaby turn around at any point. Because uh, when he does, I'm gonna cat. I'm gonna bleed another spell slot to do primeval awareness. Okay, you go right ahead. Uh, you do detect fiends here, um, but given the nature of the shop, it makes sense. Uh, you do notice that in the back there are cages with fiends in them, mostly imps. Ah, uh, okay. 
Yeah, so you do get a blip there, but it's not like... But that makes he, sense. It totally makes sense for him. Uh, Kay has dispelled the, uh, what you assume is a scrying spell. Oh. Uh, um. she, tur she turns to you guys and goes, this place is being watched. Pardon me, sir. Uh, I don't know what type you are. He kind of looks at you and like looks at your <laughs> horns and stuff. Austrix? Nah. Shakes his head. Ingrel? No. Hmm. Interesting. Shall I start stripping? Would that give you a better idea? Heh, <laughs> preferably not, son. Want to cut me open with a knife or something? Look at my organs. A little, but not not now. Uh, uh Mr. Black, if we can just kinda get to the point. Ah, uh, yeah, right, go ahead. Uh, okay. Kay actually gave us the okay on this place? Yeah, Kay's like, it's being watched, but she's cleared it out. So. Okay, cool. We have a Yugoloth problem. Yeah, I've been hearing about a bunch of demons roaming around the place. I'm a little bit of a down, though. The more you talk about it, the more eyes you get on your son, so you better watch yourselves. Yeah, I heard such a bunch of random deaths around the city, too. Don't know if you heard about that. Which death was that? Death of the Romantian. Excuse death in one me? of the city streets. I, I, I hold on. Death of the Romantian. And there was a death in one of the alleyways of a council scribe, but that was been keeping on the down low. Ooh. Oh. A council scribe. Council scribe was killed, yep. What do you know about that? Uh, it was a crossbow bolt to the neck. So Ooh. so it wasn't an accident, is what you're saying. No, nope. no. That Porky, was an I don't assassination, it... boy. What was the name? The scribe's name. Yeah, yeah. Felix. Felix. Felix Rickwither. Rick Rickwither. Okay. Uh, here's another question. Uh, I look over to Kay. Who, uh, depending on if we could actually get that arrow that was fired at him, that would actually be good for me to track something down with. She kind of looks to, looks to Barnaby and goes, I don't know where that went. I'd have a hard time trying to find that. It's probably in evidence by now. I could, well, I could ask Captain Doros. That would help. Mm -hmm. You probably don't need to take it with us, just examine it. Uh, quick well, question. no, I also would like to examine the scene of the crime. Uh, mm -hmm. Quick question. Who died first? The Romantian employee or the, 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 the steno, stenographer? Uh, well, I know more information about the Romantian worker. Work, worker my bad. <laughs> Who is the Romantian worker that died? Well, it wasn't a worker. It was a customer from my... Actually, no, it was a... Was it a worker? One second. He pulls up some papers and shifts through. <laughs> he, like, reads through his notes. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it was a new one who died. The name was Diamond. And what were they? They were an elf, it looks like. New name hire was... at the Romantian. Male, female? Uh, female. Mm. Of course, him. I'm saying this. So it's a bit under wraps. But I was hired to look into this, but I'm drawing up straws. Be honest with you, I'm a little too old for going into the places like that. If you want to talk to Miss Tombstone, she'd be the one to talk to you about that. Who is Miss Tombstone? Uh, she's in charge of the ladies of the romantion there. All right, speak to Miss Tombstone. Miss Tombstone, this. Is that oh. a real name? Oh, yeah. It's a Probably not. Look, I'm going to be honest with you guys, that's a beautiful name. Miss? Oh, may she single? Mm -mm. Forky just moves his hand together. I want, to see, I, want, mm, I want to see if there's any like bits and pieces that I have that I haven't given to Willow that I can give this guy as a reward for helping us. I think you guys, I mean, besides the Discord devils, but you gave her the uh, the rosin, which wasn't really a demon part. It was just from the demon realm, which is more akin to her. He seems more like bring me a body and we'll talk or give me a part and we'll talk kind of guy. I have these bearded devil tendrils. Oh, take a look at those. How many do you have? Three. Three of those. I can give you a hundred gold for each one. Ooh. Fine condition. Would be excellent. 
Yeah, okay. I gave all my stuff to Iggy and Willow, so I'm clean. Yeah, he uh, slams down 300 gold and he throws it to you. On the topic okay, of that, yeah. Barnaby, do you have any weapons that we might be able to purchase from you that might aid in this quest? I got silver arrows and silver uh, bolts. Mm. Silver Actually, darts I, would, too. I would like some silver arrows. Sure. Oh. It's one gold piece per arrow. That's fine. That's not bad. That is super not bad, especially with a fucking quiver that doubles my amount. You wouldn't happen to deal in um, magical items or spell scrolls that... Uh, got any, got any, got any fun knickknacks? Borky just kind of cuts yeah. in front of him immediately. Uh, I don't sell in the magical stuff. Uh, unfortunately, you need the proper certification for that. So, yeah, I'm out. But I do got the silver dared and silver bolts. Knickknacks. Nah. I got I got items on the walls, but they're not for sale. All right, can that's you possibly uh, hundred bucks from me then? Can you possibly can you possibly give us any information about weaknesses, exploits, things of that nature when it comes to you? Eagle Ox. Ah, uh, well. Things that they're weak to, things that they're strong to, combat oriented things. Ooh, natural 20. Hell nice. yeah. Hell yeah, Barnaby. Hell yeah, Barnaby. Um, he looks at you and goes, The nastiest thing about them Yugoloths, son, is that they're slippery. And I don't mean in the physical sense, in the sense that they are very good at getting away. Do you know of any way to deter them from actually being able to get away? You got a counter spell handy? Look over to our. Okay. <laughs> actually, yeah. Uh, I am an anti mage, so I could probably help. Why? What did a mage do to you? No, Forky, <laughs> it's an occupation. You got um, any. Uh, well, actually, I look over at uh, Barnaby. Do you have anything that might assist with that, or is that out of your wheelhouse? I'm afraid son that's out of my wheelhouse. Mm, do they have fair. do they have any natural weaknesses to different metals or substances? Yeah. I feel like natural twenty. Natural twenty got you that. Yeah. I mean the resistance to cold, fire, lightning. And if you don't have magical weapons, you're gonna have a hard time. Alright, well it's a good thing I picked up these then. <laughs> Most demons are straight up immune to poison. So, you know. Mm. Mm. I've heard that the Yugoloths specifically are also, uh, they, they are resistant to the effects of magical spells. Uh, usually more on the charming sort of persuasion and frightening and whatnot. Mm. How about illusions? He kind of shrugs. Mm. Uh, if, if we was to like set up a trap, what was should we put down his bait under a on under a big net? Son, if I knew speaking. that, I would find more of those damn things. They're not beasts, son. Mm. They're more like people, if anything, which makes them more terrifying, if you ask me. Well, what if we were speaking metaphorically? What would be something that they would want that they would be worth coming out of hiding? A deal? Information? Hmm. Hmm. And with everything we've been doing around town, I'm certain that even if we tried to make a deal with this thing, it would know by now that it's a bad idea to deal with us. Considering... Never mind. Never mind. I almost said something very bad in character. <laughs> oh, you want to okay. see ahead? Yes, yes actually. All right. He goes into the... Like, just like a, like a grandpa about to show off his, his family photos. He hops off the stool he's been standing on, and he runs into the back. And you hear the moment he goes back there, you just hear a lot of hissing and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like really awful. It's almost like like he's like carrying down a bunch of grapes and there's just monkeys in every cage. It's almost like Follow your soul! Shut up, Kevin. He, <laughs> he comes back and he has a jar. Uh and in the jar is a head, this sort of wide horizontal head with these large amorphous orange eyes. It looks insect-like. It has these tiny little, like tiny little jaw set of teeth, and then these two mandibles that stick out. And he, he Puts it on the on the counter for you. It's it's very it's about about humanish size, probably around Borky's size of Borky's head. Uh, can I draw this? Yeah, absolutely. Go okay. right ahead. Uh, roll uh, a dexterity uh, check, I'd say. Right. Or, yeah. Uh, 
oh, seven. God damn it. It's a simple sketch, but it gets it's okay. a pretty distinctive looking head, so it gets the point across, but it's not super great. If you show that to someone, they probably won't know what it is. Right, but I mean just just something for our own point of reference, such as yeah. how it's like Ta put Task has a small bottle and he looks not a bottle, but like a small little like thing that a potion used to be in. I know this might be a big ask, but this might assist me in searching for any sort of clue, at least naturally. May oh I no, have a, son. A sample? If I open up this jar, it goes poof right back. Uh, then how'd you get it in there really. in the first place? Yeah, I had my ways. Giant net. Interdimensional pickling liquid. Yeah, in a way. Whoa, shit. I didn't expect that to be right. <laughs> <laughs> What it, okay, so what's the liquid used to actually hold this thing in place then? Uh, it is is actually holy water, a specific type oh. of holy water. Oh. Which kind Preserves of holy it. water? Uh, it is a preserving. It's an almond one. Almond holy water. Okay, write that down. That's notes. That's it's, notes. It's almond. very expensive. It's almond. Oh, oh. shit. What was the name of it? I, there's actually a name for it. I had it written down. Oh, God, my brain. What's the word almond. for... Oh. Word. Almond preservation holy water. Preservation. Hmm. So this thing embalms demons, then. It can, if you're fast enough. I only get lucky 20% of the time. How'd you kill this sucker? I didn't kill it. Mm. Some clerics it did. I was with them. I helped them track it down. Interesting. Hmm. The, the how long ago was this, and where? About twenty years ago in Tracadia. But how'd you track that one down if it's invisible? Yeah, well, this one's not invisible. This is like a foot soldier. Right. Sorry. It's just just a lot of things to keep your head around. There's yeah. higher rank amongst them. Oh yeah, yeah. There's your upper rank, your lower rank, your grunts, just like anything else, really. How gullible would the lesser ones be? Depends on what you're trying to ask. I mean, they'll listen to their boss as something fierce, but I mean, they're not the smartest cookies in the cookie jar. No, but that actually might be a good way to lure one out. So knowing thy enemy will surely lead them to the bigger fish. Eh, yeah, it's a good way to do it. Hmm, I'm just trying to think about anything to help you boys. You see, tell you what, I had that job for Miss Tombstone going in. How about you go talk to her and see if we can go have these on the job? I have my my up to my boots and work right now. But obviously it's something important to y'all and it is somewhat money somewhat important to me. I'll lend you something real nice if you take the job for me. No, I don't see any problem with that. Gentlemen. I have no issue I have no issue with this. Or you like nice things. What about me? What was up? Are you are you okay with this? Uh, or are you paying attention? No, I was just doing something really shiny here. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, with he's it. okay I'm, with it. I'm then. fine with it. I'm sorry. It's just I. There's so many pointy things here. Now this is one of my trade secrets. It's the only one I got. All right. So you better bring this sucker back, okay. or else you owe me. I want your word on that. All right. We will do our best what? occupational wait, hazards. Wait, 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 hold, 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 my heart. hold on, Mr. Mr. Demon Hunter. Are you entering into a deal with us? <laughs> now I see the irony in it. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> I am. Irony, red flag, whatever you want to call it. Borky, he's not reading Infernal. I, I'm looking at him. Hey, Monty, really quick, <laughs> did he even recognize the fact that Kay, like, Dispelled magic in his establishment. He didn't at all. No, he didn't okay. seem to register it. Then uh, he's Grunkle's not. A, he's not a very magic-oriented guy. No, this guy. Weirdly enough, this guy is very practical in his execution of hunting down demons. Not really magical in that sense. Greckles is then going to kind of lean down to Kay and whisper, "Should we tell him?" Let's not. I think it's going for us. Okay. Sorry, so what's continue. this item then, sir? I, I understand that it's important to you, but occupational hazard and all that, I'm sure you, would, of all people, would understand that. He pulls out a wooden handle that at the end of it has a long tuning fork with two prongs on it. It's very small. Hmm. A steak? No, it ain't for violence, son. He hands it to you. 
You tap a demon with it, and it rings a little bit. I look over. Ooh. Does does it harm the demon in any way? Nah, it doesn't. But it I makes... look over to I look over to panic, and I tap him on the shoulder with it. It it rings a little bit. It's the the recoil of ringing. <laughs> oh my god! With the faintest hint of flavor and. <laughs> Greckles Greckles will gesture to like have Tass tap him, just so we know. Tass the... like Joe Tass like jokingly like asks for uh, him to show his hand. Okay, just stick it out. Tat uh, taps it. Okay. Usually when you'd hit it with so much force, it would ring, but it doesn't ring at all. Hmm. I I press the digitation, the sound of ringing. We see you cast that, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> D and D is a fun game, guys. It really uh... it is. Anyway, I got some paperwork to fill out, so best of luck, boys. And uh, if you bag a demon, any parts, bring them to me, and let the tombstone know that Barnaby Black only sends the best. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Take care, boys. Hey, Monty. Hi. As soon as, as soon as everybody leaves, Remy's gonna plop down ten gold and point at the uh, silver-tipped arrows. How many, son? Ten? Yes. Gives you a bundle and hands them off to you. Perfect. That's hunting. In the quiver. I could give you some, you know. I, I bought a hundred. He'd like his own. You're going to need those. <laughs> okay, I guess. I'm All getting right. this man a shield. I'm getting him his fucking arrows. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys start walking. Uh, would you guys like to take a break here? Sure. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Sure. Grab a snack. Don't be hey, too long. Because we have a hard chat? stop. I'm staying right here. I ain't got nowhere to go. So what's up, chat? Stop. Yay. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to entertain everybody. I currently have, let me check my arrows. Because of my magical bullshit MacGuffin double quiver, I now have 72 regular arrows, which equates to 144, and 130 silver arrows, which equate to 260. I'm going to go to the bathroom. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Be right back. Wow, I'm being booed. I haven't done anything today. Uh, yes, I am excited to visit Chicago. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Task and Remy just aggressively sending thoughtful gifts for each other. I'm buying it. No, I'm buying it. Bosco, I forgot you were here. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hey, wait a second. Uh, what ranged weapon does Remy have, Bosco? That's a good question. You should uh, you should stay tuned. Um, do we really need a reason to boo you? I mean, it it works better. Hi, Bosco. I conquered my white whale. Finished an unexpected souls sketch that I rage quit on six months ago, and I only want to die a little. Nice. That's what's up. Hello, Bosco. Can you describe Remy's armor? Uh, and I'm not going to boo you. Yeah, so currently you can actually look at uh, a lot of the fan art that's been done, or if you go to his page on the wiki, it's the uh, the purple and goldish, uh, almost like a robe with armor underneath it. Uh, and then you'll see like the designs on the arms. It's very, I, I, Jack and I, Jack Kaiser and I talked about this. Uh, I think it's like 18th century European armor is the, the flavor that we went for. I forget if it was older than that. But to, it'd be really hard to describe because there's a lot of intricacies, but there's like an entire portrait of him just wearing it, and that would be best. Dope. Zako Duo said I can't gift it. Judas affect the sub at this time another time. Zako, you can uh, go screw yourself. Uh, Bosco, have you ever heard of a lantern shield? I believe that's literally what it's describing, a shield that gives out light. I would assume... Uh, Remy just violently stabs demons with arrows. There you go. Bye. Yeah, you go out like not... Kratos with the fucking the chaos blades. Yeah, I did not shoot my uh, my computer. Thank you for asking. Hundred bits from Kane Taka. I had a resub message earlier. Phonetics is Kane Line God. Cool. Kane Line God. Welcome. Thank oh. you for the pronunciation guide. Oh shit! You're being booed. I, just... I thought Halloween was a month ago. Oh gosh. Darn it. I found out what a lantern shield looks like. You are far from right. Check it out. This is fucking dope. No, is it not what I thought it was? I'm posting it in general. It's fucking rad as shit. 
Oh, she, yeah. There's like a spot for the hand and everything. Yeah, it's like a glove into the shield. Okay, I thought that was like a and d thing. No, I have not heard of that at all, clearly. Hey, Bosco, do you like Hellboy? Eh, not bad. Trainer Shoshiro, 200 bits, has found out my seven-year-old cat has a terminal case of cancer. Really Aww. glad you guys are here to cheer me up. Oh, man, that's that Sorry sucks. I that. lost both of my cats uh, about a year and a half ago, so I feel the pain. They were brother sisters, so. Aww. Yeah. But uh, but no, I didn't shoot a computer. We already went over this. It's okay. Uh, my dog, uh, my dog passed away to a to a brain tumor. Sucked. Yep, just lost my. Dog. Actually, I lost my dog this time last year, so it's already oh, been a I'm year. Sorry, man. It's yeah, it happens. That's life. That's what all the people say. Bernie That's V life. with a hundred bits. So Bosco, aside from possibly having a shield of confusion, are there any other types of Eldritch st Knight style weapons you would like to have? I think Sword of Shatter would be awesome for you. I'd actually love a levitating shield. It's never going to happen because it's way too magical, but basically you can two-hand your, your sword uh, while your shield still blocks for you. You say that? If we uh, if we find someone to do it and we have at least five grand, that can totally work. I already have five grand, but who the hell's going to enchant? It's Alavast. The middle district. Yeah, Monty's already said it's going to be tough to get anything enchanted. Hey, guess what? We have a babysitter who can get us into the high district. Look, man, if we can make it happen, I'm all about that life. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's probably not going to be easy. Fair enough. Yeah. Don't Taps mind me just eating the thing rings. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, don't do that, Soul King. Uh, also, uh, who just did that? Sergeant Paw resubscribing for a seventh month and currently on a four-month streak. Thank you, Sergeant Paw, for the subscription we appreciate also script daddy gifting a tier one sub to twisted tune taylor 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 there we go cut it off they've gifted 449 subs in this channel script God daddy needs a life it. yeah they need a life bosco what type of firearm do you own i know in one of the has been hotel streams you showed it off i did i i, I don't own a firearm i well, might have talked about ones bosco i like flex yeah i mean if you're talking about the gun show you got to pay tickets you gotta buy tickets. You can't. You can't see the uh, the gun show for free. Do I have any dad jokes? Is Alistair? I mean, I could I could say some, but I don't think Zito wants to be freaking. Oh, I'm fucking all about dad jokes. Go for oh, it. Are you? All right. Yeah. I guess I'll tell Do a couple it. dad jokes as Alistair. Okay. Some of these you might have heard already. Um, let's see. What's the Nevada City where all the dentists visit? I don't know. What is it? Las Vegas! <laughs> <laughs> Why did the picture go to jail? I have no idea, Alistair. Why did they? Because it was framed. <laughs> what do you call a bear without any teeth? Oh, that's a tough one. What do you call it? A gummy bear! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in my I'm in my kitchen making toast, and I can hear you guys. Well, you should turn down your volume. Listen, I don't know who in has been Hotel World would be like the Terrence and Philip, but that's fine. I'll be the Philip I... or the Terrence. There you go. You can be both. <laughs> yeah, I'm two dudes on the same head. <laughs> You're a fairy or tulip. <laughs> Damn it. Also, Fusebox, thank you for the tier one subscription. That's nine months in a row. Thank you, dude. I'm Kurt and all of us really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good looking out. Uh, also, here lies bread. And I am back. With a tier one subscription. That's 13 months for them. I'm back. Worked out my work schedule to watch you guys live now. Also, thank you for helping me through those these rough okay. couple of months. I thank you all. Well, we thank you for your support and your patronage. Also, support. Sonovan with 100 bits. Apparently, the Unexpectables Discord reached 4,000 members. Congrats, guys. Good grief. Hey. Nice. That's awesome to hear. And 500 also, bits from X Nick. I need to give this to the speaking, Alistar Zito tag team. Speaking speaking of which, can I, can I talk about real fast? Uh, nope. Okay, nope. never mind. Nope. Um, uh, notably, go for it. Uh, Enceladus' assistant's name is Mudron. Uh, that is a user in the Discord who every day since the channel has been open, that we have a Praise Oriara channel. Every single day, Mudron, I'm going to grab his actual username here. Real fast here. I thought it was a reference to Modrons. That's what I thought too. 
Mu Mu Mutron is his name, but Mutron is should be the construct's name. Mutron Nine every single day praises Oriara every single day. He hasn't missed a fucking day. Oh. So I named that little construct after him because I'm like, he's very committed. I'm very impressed. So there you go, Mutron. You have a you have a little Easter egg in the in the story now. So there you go. Last kerfuffle with the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. I will cheer five hundred more bits to stop the puns. I mean, if you that's five hundred on top of your already five hundred. Otherwise this the pun ishment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do you call a fish with two knees? I have no idea. What do you call them? A toonie fish. <laughs> I'm stabbing myself in the gut as we're doing this. Bernie V with 100 bits saying, oh, yeah, Bosco finally watched Has Been Hotel. Nice segue. Is it wrong I relate to Husker the most? Also, great job in the show. No, I'm pretty sure Husker is your spirit animal, and you should take a shot for him. Uh, also, the chat wants to know what happens when Alistair and Alucard interact with each other. Well, Alucard would probably try to fight him, and then Alistair would destroy him because no. OP nerf. No. No. Alistair is OP nerf. <laughs> no. Alistair is OP nerf. Did you see the episode? <laughs> Alucard would get sucked up in a black hole. Goodbye. Motherfucker, you read my book? It's called, Dra it's called Dracula. Oh, I get it, because your name is Dracula mm. backwards. You're so cute. Oh, wow, you can spell. The gaming cobalt that I'm not in character. The gaming uh. cobalt with a tier one subscription from Twitch Prime. That's 14 months. Woo, I finally got a job again. So here's my money and Prime sub. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Don't mind me just finishing up my pizza. Mm. All right, I, are we back? We're all good. I, I, I know I know they say the commas right. could really one hurt. One more you, bite. But I, time, time is of the essence, so we're gonna start here. Oh, okay, okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right. So did you guys leave the Demon Hunter's home? Uh, Task, you need to roll another survival check to find your way out. Good luck. I'm so <laughs> lost. <laughs> this, this place is like a cobbling of buildings Hell put yeah. together. So it's Here a bit of a maze. Okay, Twenty-four. Very nice. Yeah, you're able to retrace your steps. Uh, as you guys go about, you make your way through the cityscape. Uh, and uh, Kay is making tons of notes. She's written down everything. I'm assuming you guys are heading to the Romansion? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> As you guys make your way. Before all that, though, mm -hmm. um, I would like to use the Orb of Sending to contact Mother. Okay. Mother. What would you like to say? 24 words? Um. Hey, <laughs> Mom. You should have done this during the break, Connor, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting food. Um, just summarize. Just summarize what the message is, just because we need the time right now. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just say if uh, I, I wanted to see you today, we're kind of busy. If you want to accompany us, I actually have a few questions for you. If you want to, you know, just give us some insight on this. Also, I want to see you. Uh, she responds with, "Sorry, on the job. We'll see you soon. Probably in about a week. Sorry. Love you." Not beans. All right. Wait, what is she working on? She has a job? She's yeah. a mercenary, dude. Oh. She's just like you. Well, I didn't know that. I just assumed she was a mom. I didn't know mom killed things. <laughs> Did you know that Panic's mom has a second mouth below her regular mouth? He, he says to no one. <laughs> he says in his own head. <laughs> I mean, he Remy doesn't know that, does he? <laughs> Remy doesn't know that. Remy doesn't know what? Shit! They, they met. They met. Remy don't know shit. Yeah, wow, that's she rude. Didn't show they met. Randfall, he actually can speak anyway, to Randfall. Moving on. <sighs> Such a close As you guys are walking and Kay is making her notes, you guys hear a <laughs> noise. And I'm going to roll damage here for Kay. Oh! No! Oh, no. What happened? Wait, did somebody just God cock damn it, an arrow? someone's gonna pin us on murder again! Da, 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 I'm gonna grab some music that's appropriate for this moment. We don't we don't get a reaction or nothing. We got animals. No, it's out of nowhere. Oh my god. Awesome. Alright, I gotta roll damage here because it definitely hits her. It's gonna be. Oh boy. 11 plus. Five? Ooh, okay. Can somebody Six Mr. President her? <laughs> I was about to oh, fucking say. Uh -huh. I feel like Borky would have accidentally- Ah, oh, shit! There's an arrow in my arm! 
She is down. She is unconscious immediately. Oh, shit! As she gets shot, you hear a noise. And you see as she, like, stumbles, all the papers fly out of her hands onto the net as she falls face down on the ground. A crossbow bolt is in her back shoulder where her shoulder meets her neck. And she is face down on the ground. Well, what fucking fire? Um, where did it fire from? Where'd it go? Yeah, Everybody roll initiative here. Oh, Everybody. hell yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Panic is, I imagine Panic is just putting away his orb of sending and he looks up to see this. 18. Literally, literally, you guys turn around and you see her go face down. Uh, initiative for me is going to be natural one. Uh, 14 oh, for, for Remy. 19 for Borky. I'm like shit tonight. All right, so Borky, you got a 19. Greckles, you got an 18. I guess a lot of stuff is about to happen all at once, so let's make sure that we take our time. We don't on this. Let's make, make sure we do this. I got you. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, go immediately. Hi, Goblin. Hold on, Mom. I gotta go. We're getting attacked right now. Ooh, Our babysitter's shit. dead. <laughs> All right. All right. Immediately. Oh, God. This thing is fucking nasty. All right. Uh, immediately. You see another crossbow boat go for K. Uh, motherfucker. They have a surprise round if there's more than one, or if they have more yeah, than one shot. That's gonna hit. But what about Borky? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it beat, it beat, it beat, it beat his initiative count. It got a 22 on its initiative. Whatever this doesn't, is. Doesn't, doesn't he have danger sense and can't be surprised though? No, oh, right. It did beat his initiative. It, 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 so the surprise yeah. already happened. This is the actual roll, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. So that's gonna be another shot, and she's gonna fail two death saving throws immediately. Fuck's <laughs> sake! Oh my God. You watch as another arrow so it hits her right in the back. Like right center, dead center on the back. Mm -hmm. You see, you hear a hissing and a spitting noise. It is acid. It is an acid arrow. Oh, fuck. Okay. okay so... And it's going to use its bonus action to do that. And that ends its turn. That brings us now to Bork. You turn and you look. Okay, so I, 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 how much of a read of the situation does Borky have? Because I'm guessing this happened in a split second. It happened like two bolts <laughs> immediately in two shots. K fell to the ground a second bolt and you turned around at this point. Uh, okay, okay. W what street are we on? Describe, can you describe the street to me? You're in an alleyway, you know what? I'll just show you the map, how about that? Oh, hey, here we go, because I, I want to, I need to know the layout, because I, I, okay, sorry. The visual cue is important. Mm, no, especially in this moment here. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so, I'm gonna bring you guys onto the map here. Everyone we interact with dogs. Monty, I guess have to say this is absolutely hysterical and I will tell you why when this is all over. Oh no, okay. Yeah, hysterical, your NPC is about to die. Anyway. No, it's hysterical for a different reason, not that our NPC is about to die. Now, in this alleyway, are there any windows or doors? Uh, there are like buildings. They do have windows and doors, but they're all closed and they're all glass. <coughs> Most doors are before they're bashed open. Okay. Uh, uh, Borky seeing this immediately, a little bit late, but get down Mr. President's and not jumps on top of her, but literally covers her, more or All less. Right, you're going to kind of help. I'm going to, and I literally, what, Borky's already got one of those new posts. Those, Borky's already got, you remember that, uh, oh my God, do do I blow that once? Big mega potion? I got That's the mega potion. I know, but Kay's really good at taking notes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, guys, that's a skill. Not for long. Uh, Not for long. All right, uh, I got a regular potion too. Uh, I will use my last regular potion, I guess. All right, Borky's- Bonus action to administer a potion. Uh, yes, and that is a regular potion, and that is 1d, one, 2 plus 1d4. Uh, it should say. You should write it's it down. It's one of Willows. Is it the powerful one or is it the normal one? Oh, it's just, it just says healing potion. I did. All right. So then 2D, it, it's 2D4 2D plus, plus 5. Four. It's 2D4 oh, plus, plus five, right. 5 for Willow because okay. Willow's got a plus 5. So. 2D4 plus 5. There you go. Yeah. I have to change my thing. Cool. Roll it up. Yeah. Good roll. Right, 11. Good roll. 11. 11. <laughs> you watch as you, you put the potion and you watch as the the uh, crossbow bolts pop out and as they do, they fizzle. They oh. They disappear. They 
disappear in her shoulder and she's like oh, and you watch as the mood seals up and she kind of like looks pretty stunned at the moment make sure you move your character in the proper location just for reference oh yeah yeah absolutely uh and borky can in, in, in this move can borky pick her up you have an action so yes you may pick her up borky's gonna pick her up but kind of like you know okay i'm not implying this but kind of like a groom carrying a bride like yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like princess style. That's princess, princess uh, Borky, yeah. Borky picks her up princess style and puts his back to the direction where she was shot from. Okay. And Roll that's... a perception check to determine that. She fell, she fell down flat. Did she spin? Okay, never mind. I'll just roll it. I'll just do what you said. You don't know. You don't know. You literally eh. turn and she was on the ground. All right, so... perception. 13. 13. Uh, you get a sense that it was maybe from like the north, east, or west area. You don't know, but definitely not from the south. Okay, then Borky is going to put his back to the north. Alrighty, Greckles, it is now your turn. Uh, immediately, uh, claws up, hand signs out, um, and immediately drops invisibility. Okay, you're invisible now? Yep. Alright. Um, and then I would also like to make the attempt to figure out where the arrow came from. All right, roll a perception check with disadvantage. That's a 20. Ooh. Oh, nice. oh, shit. All right. This changes things. You sense movement <clears throat> over here. You see a roof tile slide down the roof a little bit. Whatever uh -huh. attack is invisible. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna shout out. Okay, so action. Uh, is speaking a bonus action? This is a free action if it's just a sentence. Oh, it's a sentence. Uh, it's he, he's literally gonna to yell. Uh, uh north uh, northeast roof. Okay. And then uh, that was a free action. So I still have my bonus action. Yeah, you have okay. uh, you in, your bonus action. In that case, uh, I will do my bonus action dash uh, as a rogue and <clears> attempt <throat> to get up where I saw any possible shifting on the tile. Okay. Uh, whatever so, I need to roll. Roll an acrobatics check for this. Yes, ma'am. 24. 24, easy enough. So within your distance, half going up the... The sure. roof, like, to get up, it's about 10, 10, 20-ish feet, so just consider that. Okay, so... That 20, would give me and then 70. getting up would be 40, so... Okay, so 4, 5, 6, 7, so 10 feet in, so... But can you plot my icon there while I've got the arrow there? Or if you this. can... Is that right? Yeah, and then you had an additional 20 feet, so yeah, that'd be about... Yeah. Right here? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You guys have control of your tokens, right? You right, I just wanted to make sure that the spot didn't... I didn't I want to misplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. Greckles okay. yelled the location. Remy, it's now your turn. Cool. Um, I would like to roll... Or Wait a second. Does Bor Borky has the NPC, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Borky currently has K. K's like... Ah, uh, you see her wounds are kind of festing, festering with this acid, but she's kind of like gently kind of soothing it. At Got the it. moment. Uh, Remy's going to move here, uh, and he's going to take the defensive action, so all attacks made where, where, against him. Where is here? Where'd you go? You just disappeared. Um, on top oh, of Borky. Underneath Borky. All I, all I did was move two spaces. I'm moving to the right, too. I'm right yeah, you next to Borky. Yeah, you can't occupy the same space as Borky. Borky is there. Well, no, I'm right go. next to Borky. Yeah, you can go right here, or you can go here, or you can go, like, you can Oh, go it's not showing me that he, it's showing me that he's next to the house. Oh, that's oh, weird. refresh, refresh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Down. Now it's moved. Okay, perfect. Yeah. There yeah, we so go. Can't go into him. You can't. You can't Final Fantasy seven this. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's gonna fight defensively and cover. Oh, actually, then he'll move here. He'll fight okay. defensively, hopefully to deflect any arrows. And then can I roll a perception check, knowing that it's invisible, to try to catch it moving? Okay. Yeah, perception check with the disadvantage. Okay, so for me, that's gonna be just straight because I have advantage already. It's gonna be a 10. 10? You don't see anything. You're like looking at each house, you're not sure. If someone finds it, mark it with something. Alrighty, that brings us around to task. It is now your turn. Would primeval awareness help me in this situation? Oh, no. fuck. No, unfortunately, no, it wouldn't. <sighs> All right. It takes a lot of time to cast, doesn't it? Uh, No, it's just expend it and it comes out as an action. 
Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'd say that, yeah, you could. But that would take your action. Well, I... It doesn't give you the exact location of where the thing is. It yeah, so that, that's kind of fucking pointless then at that point. Uh, let's yeah. see. More of a utility, less of a combat -y thing. All right. Uh, God. Okay, so where Greckles is... Mm-hmm. I have an idea. So Grekel said that this thing was like somewhere near in front of him, yes? Yeah. yeah. North. Okay, North cool. Street. So I want to do this then. Uh, I have a clear shot to here. I believe I do. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh. Yes, I do. I have a clear shot right here, and that would be 10 feet everywhere in that vicinity. I am yeah, I am going to cat Hail of Thorns in that spot. Now let's double check, you might have to actually have to hit a creature for that to activate. Well, we'll just read the spell real fast, because I don't think you can hit an object, but we'll double check. Uh, let's... <laughs> don't hit the spell for me. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I clicked out of my, my, my thing closed out. No worries. <laughs> Dad! Hail of Thorns. Dad! Next to hit time a you creature. hit a creature. Yeah, yeah fuck. So you, have, you have to hit something with it, not just a, an item. Uh, can I roll perception to see if I hit this fucking thing? Uh, sure. You can you can attack with disadvantage if you want to in the general area. Yeah. I'll let, I'll let you do that. But you Wait. will have to probably move back a bit. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. God, I have like almost nothing that helps me in this scenario right now. Fuck. Uh. Very unique situation. <laughs> uh. Actually, hmm, hmm, I want to, oh, this is going to be really fucking dumb, but I want to play this idea out. Uh, can I attach the tuning fork to one of my arrows and shoot in front of Greckles? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you I'm going to shoot it right this... in front of him. You have to, you want to shoot it, like, in front of Greckles so he can grab it? Is that no, I want to, so it makes the noise. Okay, yeah, so that would still be rolling with disadvantage. Well, I'm like right here. I'm not aiming for him. I'm aiming for the floor. He says he's aiming for a spot, not the creature. I'm aiming oh, for okay. the spot. And so when, when, because of the friction of the that's, arrow that's, hitting the side of the wall. That's what I was asking is whether you're just, you're shooting to hit something or if you're shooting just to get the item up there. Cause yeah, I if just you wanna... shoot it, if you shoot it into something, it's not going to work. You have to like hit it on its side. It's not like a direct, like you, you it, like, it's not like a fork. It's like, you have to smack it on the side for it to work. Oh, well then that's pointless. All right. I'll just fucking hit with it. Advantage. Sorry, I just said side. That's how it works. All right, so roll the hit with disadvantage. Fuck. No, I'm not hitting with a 15. No, miss. You just you shoot wide, and you're just like, oh, you have no idea where this thing is. You have a second shot though. You want to roll again? Fine, fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. You you shoot two arrows out, yeah. and you have no idea where this thing is. All right, move action to get over here, at least to try to take some kind of cover. All right, Panic, it is now your turn. Uh, all right, in my head, I'm gonna be like, Ith, how does this power you gave me work? I can summon something, correct? You already used your point for a reroll, so you can't summon anything. Oh, it's either or, okay, all right. It's uh, either or, yep. All right, never mind. Um. I, I I look I look to K and I'm like Remy, do you do you have her covered? Am I allowed to respond on his turn? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. I've got her. Go. <sighs> All right, Porky, come with me. All right, Porky kind of hands her off. Uh, I guess to Remy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Panic is going to go over to Porky, grab his hand, <gasps> and. <sighs> Dimension doors onto the roof with fork. Ah! All right, where are you dimensioning door? Dooring. Right oh. there? I am, yeah, we're dimension dooring uh, onto the roof around where Greckles said that he, he, uh, okay. saw it. We're just trying to like block the way generally. Get, <laughs> get a couple more eyes up here. You guys teleport <laughs> and you land on top of something. <laughs> oh! Slide into something and just... spill out on the roof, grabbing yourselves on the ceiling and you land. There's very clearly something there that you've run into. Oh you my can God. smell it. <laughs> oh Wait, boy. Panic go? Yeah, panic's gone. Panic rolled oh, over no. the other side of the roof. <laughs> 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 right there. Here we go. 
Uh, <laughs> so I am I on top of something or I am next to something? You guys rolled off on on like onto the roof. It's not like a purchasing thing. It's not like a horse's back or something. You guys actually like stumbled onto it and rolled off of it, which split you guys up. There's only... Did we hear like a grunt, like a? Yeah, you did. You heard it. <clears throat> There's only one way to find it. We gotta disrespect your surroundings. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, bonus action. Bonus action. Uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just point right I'll point right next to me and I'll say it right there and I will bonus action mantle of inspiration. Okay, everyone gets uh, eight te uh, nine temporary hit points now, right? Ooh. It is uh, mantle of inspiration. Uh, everybody gains. Uh, it is eight temporary hit points. I uh, it goes up at eleventh level or a tenth level. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it goes up to eleven at tenth level, so. So Y'all can move with your reaction now. Oh, hell yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see. Uh, uh, is it? Um, to this one, two, three. Connor with the mm. clutch move. Damn. Yeah, for real. Yeah. All right. You can't move there, Borky. You run into a wall when you run there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Ah! One of them, one of them fancy invisible walls like they have in Skyrim. Because I failed and I bumped into it, am I able to do my move or did that wipe it out? You can move, yeah, but you just bump into that and you're like, oh shit. I go down this way right here instead, slightly to the left of it facing it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my that's my bonus action, and I I guess I'm just gonna be like looking out really hard oh. for this thing. I'll stand right here, then I'm gonna move right in front, so I'm well, double actually, covered. What I was okay. gonna ask, you said that there are windows and, uh, and doors on the building behind us. This, this yeah, but they're right like here. closed and like locked. Yeah. These aren't like abandoned houses. These are very clearly people's lodgings that they live in. And, and real, okay. real, real quick, uh, for everybody on the podcast, uh, three of us are currently on the roof, and our NPC and Task and Remy are down on the alleyway. Can I use my movement and Tasky come with me because he has movement to basically move it so that she's up against the building? Uh, she is still prone. Uh, technically, you you can't move her. Oh, I thought Remy or I thought uh, Borky handed her off. I didn't know if I was carrying her or not. Yeah, you are. It'd be half your movement, so you can spend half your movement. Yeah, you can. If you're yeah, basically, her. I'm gonna back up like a space or two, however much will get me to the okay. building. Like right, right here, basically, is all you yeah. got. Really. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And then Tasky. Alrighty. That takes your guys' reactions up. Uh, it is actually, Kay was supposed to go after Tass, so she's gonna go now. Okay. Uh, she's gonna kind of be like, I'm fine, I've done this before. And she kind of squirms out of your grasp and she stands. Uh, <laughs> and she is going to, what are you gonna do, Kay? Uh... I, I, did, I did point out, like it's directly in front of me. Yeah. Just wanna see what her range is right now for certain spells. Ooh. Yeah, fuck it. She has a spell slot. Uh, she casts a spell magic in that area. Wouldn't that dispel Greckles too? Oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it will. I don't give a shit. Him. Doesn't see him though. Uh, you watch as she thrusts out her hand. That gives her another charge. Good. Um, you watch as she thrusts out her hand, and immediately, like you guys, feel a, a strange, almost like ozone kind of smelling um, effect surround you. Uh, as she points in that general direction. You see uh, a creature before you. I almost said this creature, but it would imply art. Oh! oh. oh you gross. see a ten, a ten foot tall, gray skinned humanoid like creature uh, with like a skull like face with kind of thick neck folds that kind of run down the neck. He's got these two massive tusk-like horn protrusions coming out of either side and a mohawk of spikes that come out. And he kind of he he kind of like gives you guys a side glance and turns towards you, um, oh, me too. seemingly not like noticing you, I guess, or not giving you too much attention. <laughs> he does does he know? He doesn't know. He's not invisible anymore. Oh, he knows. He's aware. He looks down <laughs> his hands. And he looks towards you, but he's more focused on K at the moment. Ah, the fools. <laughs> All right. Uh, that takes Kay's action, and that's gonna be her turn, as she's no longer prone, she's standing between you two. Uh, the creature, seeing as you guys have used your reaction, uh, is going to jump down from Not you guys. I, so said the bard. You can use your reaction. Am I, did Borky move? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Borky moved. Uh, so he spent his reaction. Uh, so I can't All attack. Right. Oh damn. Okay. You can't attack because you use your reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna use the copy cutter stats for this because it's, it's just a it's just a rapier. I mean. Yeah, the copy I, cutter isn't activated though, so it's not a weapon at the moment. No, but I, I do have my glass sword still. Oh yeah 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 absolutely go for that. All right. Uh, here we go. Waiting with bated breath. This is a copy cutter. This is a glass sword. Twenty two. That hits. Whack. That is six piercing damage. Okay. Is that a magical weapon? The. I Question don't think mark? so. It's 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 the drow sword. Oh yeah, it's not magical then. But is it? Uh, you watch you watch as it jumps over and <laughs> crashes onto the ground, moves forward some more, and is gonna aim a shot towards you, Task. Okay. Loads his crossbow. Come on, you fat bastard. That's gonna be. Ooh, ooh, that's yeah. That was. I was so scared. It was almost a natural twenty. I was like, oh fuck no. And then it rolled to a fourteen. Uh, plus, and then that's gonna be twenty-one to hit you. Of course it hits. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. This thing's pretty scary. Uh, oh god, that's gonna be nineteen points of piercing damage. Minus eight because of the hit points, so. That's going to be 11. 11. And All right. I need you to make a... Uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Or no, wait, hold on. Wait. Dexterity. Oh. It's better. It's better for you. 19. Hey! You, you, you pass. Uh, as the arrow hits you, a bunch of like almost like thorny like vines erupt from the bolt as it <laughs> hits you in the chest, and you manage to scramble and s squirm out of the way of this almost like this net-like enraptured plant. Oh no, I know that shit. That's my gag. Fuck you. And, and you watch as it kind of grins at you and then disappears. And you guys have no idea where it's gone. You hear footsteps, ah. but you're not sure where it's gone. That ends its turn. And that brings us around to Borky. It is now your turn. Okay. Do something fun and crazy here. So Borky... Borky saw him disappear again, correct? Yeah, he just disappeared again. He did, did he? I would like... to jump off the roof. Okay. And I would like... to target about 20 feet to the north of where it was last. Where yeah. it was so last ping, position. Ping, ping that out. Ping that out. Right here. Okay. Do so you want to aim for there? Borky's going to jump off the roof. All right. Roll an athletics check to jump off the roof without hurting yourself. Athletics check with with complete yeah. pleasure. All right. At 26. Yes. Easy enough. You just drop off the side and you're going. I'm assuming you're in an attack as you're jumping off. Yes. In a wide. All right. I, I would like to do a wide arc, but I don't know. I know I can't specify. So roll, roll to hit with disadvantage. With, with Ron fault, here we go. Seventeen. Ah, uh, ting! You hit the ground. Make sure to move your token, Kurt. Oh, of course. Wait. Ting! You come down, and you just hit the ground, leaving a sizable dent in the floor with Ron fault. Nothing is there. Damn. Well, that ends my turn. Alrighty, that brings us Greckles. It is now your turn. Up, up, you are up, no up, longer. Up. Uh, actually, you are invisible still because it's a specific area, I believe. For oh, was it? Oh. Yeah. Dispel is uh, like one one creature. Or it's like object. one space. Yeah. It's yeah. Not okay, like so big. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try to be clever here. Uh, bring up his talons. He whispers, and I'm gonna drop an obscuring mist block in the 20 feet 20 foot cube right in front of borky and up and around what i'm doing with this i'm looking for any sort of wisp that exits the cloud okay can you go on the other side on the, oh, oh, the yeah. right um, side with that measurement there so 20 hang on i don't, I don't want to get borky in this um 
Yeah, so I didn't say right there. That's yeah, that's, the that's fine. That's so yeah. if anything enters that, we can see the fucking giant 10-foot fat man waddling his way yeah, into the mist. Yeah, because it's a, it's a big-ass dude. You should be able to see... Theoretically, you'd be able to see the moving mist. All right. Big theoretically. That takes and, your action? Yep. Um, And then uh, I will... Hey, what? I'm actually gonna move. I'm not invisible by any anymore, by the way, because I no, you... didn't actually. Oh yeah, you cast the spell. Yeah, so you're not. Invisible. So I will. I'm actually gonna hang out right here and just yeah. keep an eye out, just vigil on the on the. Yeah, your mist cloud just barely cusps the roof of this building, so you can see down below pretty right. easily. But yeah. I can see the entire cloud, right? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, I'm assuming that ends your turn. Yes. All right, Remy, it's now your turn. All right. Uh, I you am saw gonna... him land, you saw him shoot, and he disappeared, and now you're kind of looking side to side. Right, so I'd like to uh, to stay where I am, uh, continue to fight defensively, which will keep the disadvantage, and I would like to roll a perception check to point him out. All right, that is an even roll for you because you had advantage with sight-based Correct. checks in open areas, so that's just a straight roll for you. And it's going to be a See 16. The shimmer. 16, okay. You do not see anything, unfortunately. As you're scanning and you're looking, your your feathers kind of peeking up. You hold your shield up. Kay is kind of like breathing, kind of heavy, but is kind of like her fingers are kind of crackling with arcane energy. Unfortunately, uh, you do not see anything. Turn, turning around to Kay, do you need another potion? Um, I maybe I'm I'm okay. On my belt, if you need it, and I'm gonna point out the two potions that I have. They are the same D4 plus five. Okay. All right. That ends your turn? Yes. Task, it is now your turn. You have uh, a big uh, bolt in your shoulder, and as you're like reaching up to grab it, it kind of melts into ash in your hand. It becomes I, just like this sort of residue in your hand. I kind of like mutter to Kay, are you able to, are you gonna try and reveal this thing again? I can try, I have one more spell slot. <clears throat> Fuck, that's not good. Either reveal it or send for help. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna roll perception to see if I can fucking scope this thing. All right, disadvantage. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that nat 20 on that side of 15. Oh, yeah. 15, roll stealth though. Uh, yeah, unfortunately you don't see anything. This thing, as big as it is, very good at being quiet. You're God. actually kind of frightened by it. I know, I had the same problem. Normally I have advantage and I rolled a nat 20 and nope. <laughs> God damn it. It's Sorry, one of them guys. Ds. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fucking... Welcome to level nine bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking... I mean, to be fair, this is how you feel when Grekel does it, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to... Ready action, double hit if this thing fires an arrow. Like, I'm going to... Okay. I'm watching for the arrow, and when he attacks, I attack. Okay, your ears kind of perk up, and you kind of pull back the arrow on your bow. I'm assuming you're using silvered arrows, correct? Yes, of course. All right. All righty. That brings us now, it is now Kay's turn. I accidentally put her at the end. She's supposed to be before panic because she actually gains a bonus to her initiative based off of her intellige mo uh, intelligence modifier. Cool. So right. yeah. she's a war mage. Ooh, fun. Oh, Ooh. I like those. So you told her to either get rid of the invisibility or to call for help. Yeah. Um, She is going to, she was gonna mage armor, but instead she's probably gonna call for help. So, oh, I'll just send me one action. All right. Uh, you watch Remy as Kate kind of breaks her eyes because Captain Doros, we need assistance. And she starts like just rattling off the location where you guys are at the moment. Please send reinforcements. Thank you. And she kind of looks up and she goes, okay, help is coming. That All ends right. yep. her turn. Hold the line. Keep this thing from going. And that brings us panic. It is now your turn. All right. Uh, I too am going to slide off the slide off the roof. All right, acrobatics or athletics of your choice. Will this will this burn my action? No, I'm this is not. No. This is just to successfully move without taking damage. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall on uh, your I'll, I'll do acrobatics. Okay. Which is going to be <gasps> natural one. A natural one. <laughs> oh, what the oh. fuck is my <laughs> uh. You're having a bad night. You use that element of if and now you're off your Sure game. am. 
Um, as you guys Ugh. watch as a oh, scary guy. Ah! Hey, I'm back. I don't like ah! it. Like Horus has cursed me with bad rolls. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, right. you will as be you, As you guys watch, Paddock's like, I'll save the day. As he just like walks off the roof. Family guy falls like, on the floor. <laughs> you know, like when you hit like a tile and like the tile kind of exceeds past the actual structural I, integrity I of my, it. I, I get my stupid boot caught in like a ceiling towel and I fall over like, ah, shit. Yeah. I, Take I, five points of falling damage and you are knocked prone, which takes up half your movement. Okay. Um, I'm just imagining Pinocchio falling down the stairs at the beginning of that song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I've got no strings to hold. Ah, fuck! Where was I earlier? I think you were right there, was yeah. Like, yeah. Right. So yeah, you're, you're on the ground, unfortunately. You can't even get up. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm going to no sell the, uh, I'm going to no sell that and, uh, I'll start playing, uh, a song on my guitar and I'll be like, uh, yeah, some people want to get the freak out of me. Some people can see what I see. Some people want to see what I see. They put the evil eye on me and I'm going to cast detect magic. Okay. Can you put your radius on? 60 feet. Hey. Finally. So uh, Yay. I wondered if that would work because they're magical. I just... Ah, thank you. You had a little thing you turned on, like, a little radius circle yep. on you before. Uh, R01. Have... I'll, I'll make it green this time just because I feel oh, pretty. <laughs> wow. Alrighty. Yeah, you detect a lot of magic. Obviously, you detect the fog cloud. You detect your friends, but you do detect something right here. I just point right to it. He's right there. This motherfucker can't even hide right. And with my bonus action, can I try, like, try to like goad him? <laughs> this sure. Stupid roll. This, this stupid motherfucker can't even hide right. Look, I just cast the tech magic. I fell off the roof, and he's gonna get caught by me. What a fucking asshole. Roll, roll a pers. Mm, I'm gonna say just a straight charisma check with disadvantage. Straight charisma check with disadvantage. Yeah, Piss him off. Oh. That's good. 18. 18. No, no. He wriggles and he jiggles like a wacky wave of playable arm like too bad. Oh. You see the form kind of shift towards you, but then shift back to the way it was facing before. I'm you just didn't... like fucking pelvic thrusting the air, like, come on, hit me, he's asshole. Get, he's got a tattoo on his bicep that says sticks and stones. That's what he actually has there. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Alrighty. That is your turn there, Panic? Uh... That was my bonus action, wasn't it? Just right and go to him. Yeah, and use your action to, to do to ah. magic. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> but so. I do, I do, I'm like pointing with my finger like exactly where he is and I will, I'll be following him as he moves. Okay, he is gonna move. You watch as he moves over here. He comes out of invisibility. Whoop. Uh, and Tass, you get your shot simultaneously here. He's gonna get off his first shot, unfortunately. That's fine. As long as uh, I get he is aiming for you, again. You fat bastard. <laughs> oh, fuck me, that's a natural 20. Oh, no! Oh, fuck, You All get right. shot through a window. <laughs> ah! Yeah, fuck. <laughs> like a fucking spaghetti western. <laughs> ah! Oh, ah, he got me! You fall. 21. Wow. 23. Oh! That's just, that's just the normal. So 23 uh, piercing damage for just the arrow. Oh, and good. Then, there's an additional little fun bit that comes with this one. Wow, he's rolling like shit now. Yay! Yay! An additional yeah. 16 points of thunder damage, and I need to make a constitution saving throw for me. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta calculate this, because I might be fucking down. 23, I think. I'm at 17 HP. Uh, I need to make a constitution saving throw for me. 12. 12. You, uh, like, almost like you've been tased. You seize up and you flop to your side, your body tensing and thrashing. You are considered paralyzed. Have fun, guys. Oh. I'm out. Bye, you watch as it, as it yeah. smiles and jeers towards you, Remy, and once again is going to turn invisible. My hand's still pointing to it. I'm yeah, like, it's right there. <laughs> All right, that ends the creature's turn. Borky, it is now your turn. You have a general idea of where it is. Where is it, Panic? And, and Panic, you know it hasn't moved. It has not I know. moved. I'm just like, stupid. He doesn't even know I'm detecting magic right now. <laughs> okay, so is it right here? 
right here, yeah. Yeah. I'm oh my god, right that is it. exactly your oh. movement. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, barbarian. Uh, dash. Uh, is time to unleash the wog. Morky just runs up like a clover and clothesline, but he's just got all run fall. Ah! And Borky's gonna swing down as hard as he can on that spot where it just was. All right, he is still invisible, so it's with disadvantage. That is fine. Borky's gonna swing. And oh, sorry. Yeah, twenty-three. That oh my god! Nice. I eleven slashing, no rage. But can I try and ask Rodfold if he can banish this creature? Uh, you have to crit oh, to banish okay. it. Okay, well, no, it no. Only, it's only automatic if it's a still have any spawn, which this is not. Okay, so. no worries. Borky slashes down with that. Now, Borky has two more attacks, I think. 11 points again. So, what's that going to do? Math real fast. All right, go ahead. You have, you have one more attack, and then if you were in a frenzied rage, you have an additional attack. So yes. You, have, you uh, have two, I believe. Yes. Uh, Unless ninth, ninth level, do you get an, an additional attack at ninth level? I don't I'm think. Trying so. to remember if I do. I don't think I, I do. I check on your sheet. I put it in. Yeah, no worries. I, 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 I'm sorry. I still got. Uh, I do not see that there, so I'm let me double check though, just to be sure. Yeah, face. just it's uh, yeah, it's been a while since combat. It's been a while. I know. It's, we haven't had a chance to really try things. It's been out. almost almost a month since combat. And we leveled up. Yeah. Little guy attack. Yep, no, you don't get an additional one. Alright, so you just get the second one. So roll again. Disadvantage. Even though I, I, I hit him? Okay, no worries. Yeah. It makes sense. Disadvantage. You it's don't fine. know it's, where it's fine. he is. Fifteen. Yeah. Misses completely. You swing wide and it just you don't hit anything. Alright, and uh that ends my turn. Alright, Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh I'm thinking. Uh Uh, I am going to use my bonus action to drop in a stealth. Okay. So roll a stealth check for me. Yes, ma'am. That is a 26. Using some of the mist around you, kind of hide with the flow of the wind. Um, it, does that count as an action, move action, bonus action? What, to, to stealth? Yeah, for the for the it's bo it's bonus action to hide, which is what you. That's just right. Did. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, if I moved, would I need to make another stealth check, or is that? No, you, that's that's there? what that that is for. Yeah. Okay. In that case, let me move to the edge over here. Um. Uh, when you say over here, where are you I... moving to, dude? I was moving. I was moving down in the south. Okay. Yeah, it's closer uh, to the, the, the rest of you guys near the creature. Which, by the way, Panic, as you're using your detect magic and you can kind of see this creature, like an outline of it, you do notice it turns and sees Greckles immediately. Despite how hidden Greckles is. Can I relay that to him? Or I guess it's not my turn. You could just yell if he sees you, if you would like to. I, I Yeah, I, I, I look up at Greckles and I'm like, he sees you! Uh, all right, screw it. Um... Brings up, brings up the talents. Couple symbols. Uh, get that mirror going. All right, make and a duplicate of yourself. Turn. Yep, I right. have. Uh, three. Sorry, three illusionary duplicates. I assume they can't take my own my own space. No, they they kind of shift around you. Okay. All, All right, Bushino right. Jutsu up. Let's go. That ends your turn? Yep. Remy, it is now your turn. Cool. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing and roll that perception check while I defend. All right. Just a straight check for you? Correct. It's going to be a 17. 17? Okay. You see it. You see You see a shift in the dirt, a little bit of dust, and you know immediately where it is. You also see Borky kind of slashing at it, so you got a general idea. It's about right here. Got it. Borky, it's directly in front of you. If it moves, swing. Borky does that, uh, just <gasps> nod. <laughs> Basically, I want to, if it tries to move, I hope he gets his attack of opportunity. Alrighty. That brings us to task. Can you make another constitution saving throw for me? Mm-hmm. Come on, baby. I got you. I'm right here. Nope. 
still paralyzed. <laughs> You're trying your hardest. You've had this happen once to you before when you were younger. You were bitten by a snake that did the same thing to you. Cool. Alrighty, that brings us around now to Kay. Kay is... She's got a lot of pent-up aggression. She's going to cast Magic Missile at second level at this thing. Nice. Does Plus... She, does she get a bonus because she knows where it is because I called it out? Oh, well, Magic Missile, she just needs to know a general location. It's an automatic it. hit. Yeah, it's an automatic auto hit. Automatic hit. Plus, she has Power Surge, which she's going to use. Holy shit! Oh, fuck. So, because she, uh. she dispelled magic a bunch of shit, so she's got a lot of slots for that. Uh, she is going to, yeah, to do magic missile. <clears throat> Step here. Open, Open fire. fire! The classic wizard spell. 18. Make ready! Make ready! 25 points of force damage. Fire! You watch, she thrusts out her hand, you cheer up. As this thing is barraged by magic missiles, that's plus a power surge, so that's plus three damage as well. So that's 28 points of damage. Total. Good God! If it gets, if really, it gets hit, does that really knock well. out? It, does that knock out its invisibility or force it? No. Nope. Oh shoot. Nope. It doesn't do anything, but it does do a magic. lot of fucking damage to it. Oof. And then minus eight, which is going to bring us down to that amount. That did a lot of serious damage to this thing. She kind of like blows off her hands like they're like a pistol, and then she goes ah ah, and just kind of waves her hand. <laughs> All righty, panic! It is now your turn. All right, I can see this thing. Yes. Like an out like an outline of it. Yeah, an outline of them. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna use 15 of my movement to get back up. Okay. Use the other 15 of my movement. I can't really do much here without like hurting people or like fucking. Fuck it, we've done it before. It's Borky, dude. As long as that someone's not me. You know I what? Say... I'm I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do something that I don't think anybody has ever done on this show before. I'm gonna <laughs> run up to this thing. I can see it. I'm gonna stomp my boot into his foot, grind it a little bit, and then flip him the bird. I'm going to use the help action. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is about to happen? Please explain what is about... Oh my god. <laughs> So the help I just, I, gives... I, I, I shove my middle finger in, into his face and I say, fuck you, idiot. And uh, you get advantage on your next step. Yep. I actually, oh. I have used that before and I fucking love it. That is amazing. Oh, wow. oh, it's so great. Bonus action going to inspire task. Okay, task, you are inspired. Okay. So you can use that on your saving throw. Oh, cool. Basically you add, it's a D4, right? Yeah. It is a yeah, D. It's eight more than that now. now. It's a D8 D8 now. now? Oh, that's nice. good. Big. It's a big boy inspiration. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Um, I believe it is a D8, but. I'll Time for some big see. help. I'm pretty sure it's a D8. So, yeah, we, we, we can move on. All right. Forky, you get an opportunity attack as the creature in front of you suddenly shifts and panic gives you the go ahead. It's going to be a straight roll because you got a help action. Yep. Here we go. Can I oh, use it to try? Work. Can I use it to try and grapple it? No, you can only use it to hit. Hit it with my sword. Yeah. Twenty-four. That hits. Roll Hell damage. Yeah, dude. Seven slashing damage. Seven slashing damage. Not bad. Not bad. It's gonna bring him to this amount. He does move. Thank you, and Connor. And Remy in front of you immediately. Yep. He brings out this massive jagged dagger and he swings down towards you. Do I get my attack of opportunity? You do also, but with this, uh, actually, yeah, you get it with just a straight attack, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. You can see it, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can Woo! see it, yeah. Just a straight roll. Glass him. No, not at all. Um, Oof. He like gets like five feet away from you and you're like, eh. I'm, <laughs> I'm like too busy flipping him off. I flip him off and I try to reach for my sword at the same time. And I'm just like, hang on, get it. And then I thrust as he's gone. <laughs> Damn. <All righty. laughs> oh, okay. That's a really high number. Um, That is going to be uh, a 29 to hit you, Remy. Yep. Jesus Christ. 29. Good that's God. 29. That's going to be 11 points of damage to you. Slashing damage. Okay. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Okay. 
Nine. Nine. All right. You can take. 62. You ten. Okay. One, one. You take 28 points of poison damage as okay. well, and you are considered poisoned. I cannot be poisoned. I have an amulet that prevents any kind of uh, disease. Oh! Uh, that's not a disease, though. It's oh, poison. It's different. It's different. different. Oh, yeah, well, disease awesome. Disease is different than poison. Poison, poison is like... adds disadvantage on your attack rolls. Yeah, oh, so you have a disadvantage on your attack rolls. You, are so now you said poisoned. it was 28? It was 28 points of damage on top of the additional 11 Oof. slashing damage. Uh, it appears that he's trying to get through you to get to K at the moment. Okay. And once again, disappears. Okay. Uh, panic, you would know. He moves, he doesn't move from where he is. He stays where he is. Uh, you could you could probably just leave his token uh, available. At this point? Just... Yeah, I guess. Also, Monty, I would <laughs> be less work on you. Monty, he can fake was, it. Was that hit with disadvantage? Because I was defending, so. Uh, that was with disadvantage, yeah. Oh, God. Ooh. He rolled, he rolled two 19s. Okay, just wanted to double check. Fair enough. Yeah, no, he's, <laughs> I'm kind of ready to switch out this die, but I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. Hey, look, man, it happens. Good on you. Who's up? I beg, right. have mercy. Who's up? Ice sorcerer dice. Anyway, uh, up next is going to be Borky again. Okay. Okay. Also, the token is showing. I don't know if you mean it to. No, yeah. we, we just said it is. I should have it show. So we're going to yeah, pretend just... we don't see it. Got it. Now, Borky just saw Remy get attacked, correct? Oh, yeah. Remy got fucked up. Borky just wanders over to where he thinks that is. All right. Let's try that one more time. Borky starts like that. It's going to swing with a disadvantage. All right. With Ron Fault. That's 11. Yes. Unfortunately, you swing and you hit armor. You actually hit a piece of armor. You're gonging noise. Uh, You're like, board. oh shit. Okay. I must hit it even harder. And a second swing. And that is 13. Oh Christ. This is as well. Yeah, you swing and swing and swing, but you just, you hit armor. You Cause you can't see it. You can't really find the squishy bits that would do the most damage. Porky just keeps wailing on it. Bong, bong. I'll get through it eventually. Alrighty, Borky, I'm assuming that ends your turn. Yeah, yeah, that's it for the Barbarian. <laughs> Alright, Greckles, it is now your turn. Alright, so if I was to try and sandwich this thing, <laughs> would I have to, could I get beside Borky to do it, or would I yeah. have to go like under? Okay. Yeah, you'd be flanking so, that way. Let me, I've got plenty of movement. I'll bonus action dash to make it happen. Drawing the Sunblade. Okay. Um, <gasps> yeah, because getting attention is kind of the point. Uh, acrobatics, yes? Yeah, acrobatics. Uh, Yeehaw. Uh, that's a 14. Yeah, easy enough. Yeah, it's, it's not a very big save. It's just dropping down off a roof. So so you see you see four little Greckles jumping off the roof and just charging at this boy or where we think he is. And uh, I'll make that attack with disadvantage. Yes? Yeah. All right. He up. That Plus is two. an 18. Plus two because you're blanking, so that's mm -hmm. gonna be a soft twenty. I don't know if you're gonna get your sneak attack because that was a, it was an attack with disadvantage, and I don't believe you get that when you have a, an attack with disadvantage. Could we double check that? I am double checking that Thank right you. now. Thank you. That's very important. <laughs> yeah, it is very important. <laughs> I just need to double check that and just see here. Sneak attack. Um. Uh. Yes. You. Uh. Okay, you don't need advantage on the attack roll of another enemy of the targets within five feet of it. That enemy isn't incapacitated, and you don't have disadvantage on the attack roll. Ah, so okay. you do not right. get sneak attack, but you do hit, so you yeah, may roll damage. That is important, and it is it is radiant damage. Yep. Um, that is going to be ten radiant damage. Okay. Ten radiant damage. It hits him, but it doesn't hurt him as much as you expected it to. Uh, uh, with. God, they're probably no. It, it wouldn't even matter trying to get his attention. He's too focused. All right, um, that's turn. As okay. long as we just keep him still. Remy, it is now your turn. Mm, God, this really hurts. All right, so defense again, knowing it's right in front of me. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Uh, I guess perception check to know that it actually is like to see it attacking perchance. 
like, just like in case shifting to... shifting ground and stuff like if it tries to get around him just like in case i guess you want to see where it's aiming like what yeah. it's, what he's looking at all right yeah go ahead i roll yeah perception i'd say yeah flat roll for you Ugh, nine you're you're like trying to look but the world is swimming right now the poison okay. is taking its effect everyone is like there's like five there's like five borkies and there's like 17 greckles and you're like that's too many got it all right <clears throat> And then as he's holding this shield, if you're not hitting it, point it out for someone. Above game, that means help anybody if you're not going to attack. Alrighty, task. It is your turn. Roll a constitution saving throw and you can add that d8 as yep. well. Come on, baby, get up. I, I need will you to get up. Come on, task. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Lord. Oh, my that's... God. Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> we saw? That's... That's the second double nat one of this game. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That's three rounds in a row. He's rolled like under 10. That sucks. I mean, to Something's... be fair, that's task's weakness is constitution, unfortunately. Oh. But Jesus, God, roll 20. Man. It's out for blood today. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I'm, I'm, right. I'm sick of it. Sorry, Zito. Yeah. All right. It is it now. It happens. Case turn. All right, here we go. Oh, I know. It is uh, Kay's turn now. I still uh, uh, she's going to, uh, mm, you know what? Yeah, she's just gonna magic missile again. Cause yeah. she's, got all, she's got all these these charges, so she might as well do another magic missile. So she's going to aim a magic missile. Like, why am I grabbing my d20? This is the auto damage. God, she's getting lots of fours. Uh, anybody attacking it because it's flank, it's a plus two, correct? 14, 17 points of damage this time. Jesus. Nice. Yeah, it's good damage. It's her only damage expel. Well, on the upside, Ooh. I'm glad she used her big fuck off uh, spell uh, spell slot to send for help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe yeah. Doros will show up and save the day. Well, we're hoping we can stall this thing. At this point, I know what it wants, and so I'm just trying to be a hindrance. Alrighty. Yeah. To be fair, the fight combat only takes seconds, so... Yep, that's fair. Alrighty. Happening then. Uh, that is Kay's turn. That brings us to Panic. It is now your turn, Panic. I hear Furious typing. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> I'm. I'm I have it in my head what I want to do. All right. So Panic is going to. He sees this thing still. So he's going to use his full thirty foot movement and move in front of this thing, right next to Remy. Uh, so I, I, I have it pretty thoroughly covered by my detect magic at the moment. Yeah. Uh, At least uh, on fire. I, I, I reach over and I tusk, touch Task on the chest and I say, out there is a fortune waiting to be had. You think you'll let it go? You're mad. You've got another thing coming. And I cast Lesser Restoration. I love nice. it. Nice. I love it so much. You are no longer paralyzed as panic heals you and you're like, oh, you suddenly feel limber. You feel like a noodle boy because like you're all tensed up and now you're like all loose. Uh-huh. Feels like exactly how I felt on the first day of playing Ring Fit. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Bonus action. I I take a potion from my belt and I, with my teeth, just uncork it, and I shove it into Remy's beak. I oh, make him down a potion of resist poison. There we go. Ah! So that gives you advantage on your saving throw against the poison on your turn. Cool. I'm barding. <laughs> Yay, thank you for being <laughs> bard, so bard, 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 bard. Alrighty. Man, Can't look at all that support there. he's laying out right now. Turn. Alrighty. Let it be known, I am, I am still trying. I'm still like pelvic thrusting towards him just to try and get, gain his ire. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll just keep getting punched in the face by him. You, you joke, but I was ready to throw you on my back, and we were about to do this master blaster style. All right. Oh fuck, Mekashiva, 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 Mekashiva. Yeah. Freckles and Borky, with disadvantage, you can make attacks against him as he's going to lead your combat radius. Whoa! Fantastic. Not on my watch, oh, he ain't. Uh, nope. 13 miss, unfortunately. I'm gonna, hit him with my, I'm gonna hit him with my sword. Uh oh. Disadvantage, unfortunately. So uh, natural, natural one. one. God. Natural one. I'm gonna, roll, I'm gonna roll severity. Oh, yeah, you too as well. Panic. Hiya. Uh, not severe, uh -oh. you just missed. Uh oh. 
Nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I rolled a six on the severity, so you just miss, Borky. Okay. Uh, he swings around, and, and Remy, you don't have time to, like, react with this poison swimming as he brings down the dagger onto Kay. Uh, and she is going to cast shield on herself. Thank you. Uh, wait. Shield is a, uh... Reaction. A reaction, reaction. right? Yeah. I would like to cast it as well on her. You can only cast it on yourself. You can't Shit. cast it on someone else. It's a ah, self yeah. Well, damn. Self yeah. So, I think... Why is it not showing up here? It's a plus five if you need it. Plus yeah, five, yeah, plus thank five you. AC. Yep. I just wanted to double check. I, I figured that's what it was. All right, so that's going to give her a AC of a yeah, decent amount. So he's going to swing down with the dagger. Uh, that, I think, saved her life. One second. Oh, God, thank oh. you. Uh, oh. A plus seven is going to bring it to 15. So, yeah, that saved her life. As he swings down this magical shield, she protects her from this attack. Uh, that would have probably killed her. Um, and the creature <clears throat> disappears again. That ends its turn. Borky, it is now your turn. All right, that's it. Borky's had about enough of this. Borky walks up to where it is, and Borky is going to make both attacks reckless. All right. Borky's head is still following this thing, correct? Straight roll. Yeah, your head is still following it. It kind of disappears behind, like, Remy, but it just kind of towers above them a little bit. I am sick! 26! Roll damage. Nine. Nine, okay. I'm tired! 18. That just, yeah, that just hits. Ooh, eight! Okay. All right, so you hit twice, and as you hit him, the, you watch as Ron Fault sinks a good, like, six inches into his shoulder. And you watch as he, like, almost like Mystique from X-Men, kind of like that sort of, like, shifting, each cell kind of shifting as he reappears. And you watch as he kind of smiles, turns his head and kind of cocks it, and you just hear a popping noise in his neck. I need everybody uh, to make a dexterity saving throw. Everyone needs to make a dexterity saving Ooh. throw. Is this an AOE thing? Yes, it is. Oh, fantastic! Thing. No, not fantastic, Greckles. No, very bad. <laughs> oh, can I add my 12! Can I add F you, Greckles! <laughs> yes. yes, you can. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can what? Add, add, you can add a, a D8. D8. I okay. want to add a D8 to this because I, yeah, I don't trust you, anything I do Monty, anymore. Monty, I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Will you let me auto-fail this deck save to protect her? Yes. If you would I, like to, you want to give her advantage, you can. So I'm rolling with disadvantage? No, you're just straight to fail. And yeah, gives her I will take the fail to give her uh, a save. I'm taking the 18. It is very good you did that, because the first roll was a 7, and the second roll was a natural 20. So <gasps> you grab her and you shield her. Uh, the rest of you guys, anyone who didn't get above a 17, <sighs> uh, you take... Oh, here we go. Nine fire damage. Ow. <laughs> Reduced to uh, four? For you. It and depends an additional nine thunder damage. Ooh. So 18 all together? 18 all together if you failed, and if you succeeded, you take nine points of damage. I don't Got take it. shit because I'm a rogue. Yay! Yeah. yeah, evasion, you're fine. You just kind of like backflip right, so out of the way. I am now bleed. Instead took... of bleeding from almost everything, I'm now bleeding from every hole in my body. So, uh, um, I need to make a concentration check on detect magic. Yep, you do. So you need to be a 10 Which for is, that. I need to be a 10. All right, constitution, here we go. <laughs> uh, oh, no. come on! You oh, lose it. It's very Fine. easy to see where he goes, because he just exploded, <laughs> and he's everywhere. Wait, and he, he watch this. He blew himself up. Oh, yeah, he self-destructed. Okay. He self-destructed. Everything he was holding is gone, and he is just a pile of ash that is slowly just bubbling away into nothing. Borky is panning and just looks down at it. Well, we found a Yugolov. You didn't win, idiot. <laughs> How do we know that's a Yugolov, though? It looks like a Yugolov. Oh, God. K, K, are you okay? No, I'm not. She has three HP. I'm one... casting. I'm casting cure wound at third level on her. Yeah, one more. I'm casting one it on more... myself. 
One more lesser restoration for Remy as well. What does that oh, give one... me? Uh, There's you're no longer poison. poisoned. Oh, good. 1d8 plus my ability modifier. So my <laughs> ability modifier is wisdom. Boba the boba the boopy. So let me roll 3d8 plus 6. Okay, that's for yourself? No, that's for both of me and her. Okay. So roll the first one three for Three dates for K, so 11 plus 8, uh, plus uh, 6. So 17. 17? 17. All right. So it's going to bring her up to, yeah, 20. Perfect. And for me, oh my fucking god. Oh, I'm not no. seeing rolls on the... On what the is screen. happening here? Yeah, that's two ones and a seven. Okay, guys, I think two, five, four. Something, this means something next is session serious. is going to... This means next session, statistically, is going to be amazing. Yeah, but we're not going to fight anything. It's going to be all social encounters. Well, I mean, to be fair, I was rolling, like, absolute shit last time, and I'm finally rolling decent now. Oh, and this is exactly why they said don't fight more this than is one. This why tabletop games are the way they are. <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, we we're all alive, and that's the best. Remy thing. is gonna pull himself off the ground now that she's better, and just I'll... start Whew. holding himself yeah. up with his shield. Uh... I'll probably I'll probably reach out and, and help Remy up, and that's when I'll cast lesser restoration. Grackles is gonna look back to the cloud to see if there's any move. Not a, a roll perception check. Gotcha. I am at fourteen out of sixty-seven HP. Got yeah, nine. Nothing. Yeah. Sixty-seven. Uh huh. I'll go. And, I'll go. And, I'll, go and, I'll go and drop it. Ninth level rangers get a decent health pool, because they also can be close combat fighters too. Yeah. I was to... trying this whole time to get it to attack me, Monty. It, it, it was on a one path. thing. It was you very. Knew it, you knew what it was trying to do. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll drop the fog. All right, you're gonna so drop I'm trying the to fog. Say that. Yeah. As you do, you door. do see, like, behind the fog, after you guys are kind of, like, after you disperse it and you guys kind of, like, rest yourselves up a little bit. Kay is very shaken, but she's kind of, like, you get the sense that she's, like, she's not a civilian by any means. She's uh, she's absolutely an officer, but still, that was pretty harrowing. Yeah. Um, you see now, running down the the north part of the alleyway, you see uh, Captain Doros along oh, with, um, along with Helena, um, another gentleman who you don't really recognize, um, and Grinelda as well. Uh, they come running towards Ta you. Task bleeding all over the place, looking over at Doros. Oh, hey, maybe you can now tell everyone else in the entire council that there's a fucking Yugoloth that falls over. <laughs> <laughs> face plants. Yeah, face family guy falls right on the floor. Is there anything left of this thing? I was going to say, is no, there any kind of like a talent or a... gone. Damn. It knew Literally, exactly... Oh, no... Oh. No goop or anything? No goop or anything. But this demon wow. goop is really expensive. This was definitely an assassin for yeah. sure. Yeah. Like, leaves no tracks behind that sort of thing. He swallowed a cyanide pill. He I'll did. Probably, he swallowed probably... a dynamite pill. He, swa he swallowed a grenade. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> that, yeah, that was I'll the probably. suicide pill, except it had a little bit of boom in it. Oh, God. A little bit of the boom. He watches uh, Kay kind of steadies herself. She goes, uh, oh, Captain Doros, and she kind of salutes, wobbling. Um, we can explain, of course. Um, there was a bit of a... She kind of brings up her hands, uh, and she casts Minor Illusion. Uh, and she shows... Yes. ...the creature <laughs> to Doros and Cole. Uh, the other person you don't really recognize kind of walks up, and he's like, you okay? And he kind of gives you guys a side glance a little bit. Um, Panic, you recognize this guy. Oh. Uh, his name is Cole. Uh, you recall that him and Helena uh, were hanging out during the Winter Festival. Oh. They, you know that they're friends. Um, notably, he's got, like, a set of armor on him, too, and he's got, like, a cape over one shoulder. Um, and he kind of walks over. He's like, are you okay? You know that he works with uh, Stendon as well. Kind of checks on Kate. She's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, Captain, what should we do? Doros kind of purses his lips a bit and um, kind of turns. Grinelda kind of nods and goes, we'll escort them back to their homes. Do you need any medical care? Yeah, can you help me pick up the rest of my teeth that are on the floor? Helena? Uh, yeah, of course. Helena's going to come over. And she's oh, Helena's there. there. Yeah. yeah, Helena's there, yeah. She's there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Helena's there. Um, okay, let's... Uh, let's guess score. One, 
another 4, it's going to be 9 plus another 2, it's going to be 11 plus our modifier that's going to bring it up to, um, I think, oh god, I lost my count. Shit. God damn it. 4, it was 4, like one, 9. Plus 2, 11 plus 4. That's going to be 15 points to you, Task. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You'll be okay, buddy. I'll dying, be done. dying, yes. <laughs> we done and pat Task on the shoulder. You'll be all right. I can only just take a picture of like after Ren gets punched in the face and he does that two lip low hang thing. That's exactly what the fuck is happening right now. <laughs> you watch as like Grinelda and like the rest of the police looking at this illusion that uh, that Kay has kind of conjured up them to look at. They're like, what the fuck is that thing? You watch this Grinella coming back and does like a little sharp whistle really fast, and you see running behind her is that Drow girl with her her oh. her, her oh, little skulk. Hey, yeah, there. skulk. Yeah, her gazer is there too. She kind of runs up, and Grinella just kind of points to the image, and Kay kind of shows her the image, and she starts to sketch this creature out on paper. Did it make noises? No, it was the fight dead silent it okay. made it didn't talk it made like kind of grunting noises when it like jumped off the roof mm -hmm. but beyond that it was a silent killer that's what really? that thing was nope no pained noises at all when we hit it nope mm. yes task put uh passive aggressively kind of just like looks over at her and goes i really hope you're not using this as evidence to frame us for something we didn't do I Doros, Doros so despite, but despite not having pupils, Doros rolls his eyes and like picks up Task and kind of gently, like kind of holds him like a dog. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, it has happened like twice now. This has happened twice. Can you blame me? <laughs> Borky, Borky, go, Borky goes right down to Panic's ear and says, says this. She was the one who dispelled the scrying at the demon hunter's house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was. Yeah. Wait. She was. Yep. Borky looking at the expl I'm gonna assume I just a meat crater. That's not even any meat anymore. It just all disappeared it's in gone. the It's gone, it ashed away. Don't yeah. don't let anyone ever tell you you're stupid, Borky. What? I said don't let anyone ever tell you you're stupid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Borky just what? Borky's just wa Borky's just watching a butterfly. Mm. <laughs> oh no, the butterfly's a Yugoloth. Roll initiative. <laughs> he is foolish and naive, but he's not stupid. <laughs> uh, you see that Kay is talking with Cole at the moment in kind of a hushed talk, but uh, Doros is kind of like, they're obviously, they're doing their, they're doing their guard duty. They're making a note of everything that's happened, taking your guys' testimony. Um, though Kay kind of walks you guys, I know this seems kind of bad, but because of the nature of our investigation, we do have to keep this event a secret. Okay. If word if oh, okay. gets out, it's information to both us and also our enemy we're trying to hunt down. You understand, yes? Should What's you, you talking about? <laughs> Should you stay with us? I after have this? to. It's it's my job. And she like she like steadies herself and looks very prideful and she's oh. like, It is my job. Only I people. know, but did you literally just not see what happened when you follow the people doing your job? Now, hold on, hold on, guys. There's one solution we have to do. It's going to be obvious, Kay. You're going to have to sleep in Helga's room. Who's Helga? Shh. Sh I, I genuinely would pay money to see Helga fight a Yugolov. She's our oh, well, orc bartender. She's, she's pretty tough. I'm She's staying already... with you guys. That is the job I have been assigned. It is a job that I will complete. Besides, that... if anything shows up in your guys' bedroom, you're going to need an anti-mage. Yes, but that thing was going after you. I could see it the entire time. I knew where it was going. We this... are we're pretty powerful, but we... No, we do all right. Like kidney. We do all right. <laughs> we do all right, but <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> Task coughs up a kidney. Can you want to hand me that? Duros kind of shifts you into one arm and takes his other arm, kind of pats you on the back. Yeah, is he don't like rubbing? Is, is he rubbing like taking his pointer finger and his thumb, and just rubbing behind the ears? I'm that, Task is that fucking meme right now. Don't talk to me. I anger. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just like doing a gentle pat on your back, just like you're gonna be fine. And as he's Work. doing, he's, he's doing lay on hands on you. By the way, uh, you get an additional. 
Additional 20 HP. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Every, with every pat, it's it's one HP each time. Oh, God. <laughs> this actually works with dogs in real life, guys. Meanwhile, Remy's over here bleeding out. That's fine. Yeah, no, Helena's dealing with you right now. Oh, is, is Remy hurt? Am I hurt? I'll, I'll, probably be, fucking hurt. I'll probably be giving him healing words. Am I 12, hurt? 12 for you, Remy. 12 Bless. for you, Helena. I'll go ahead and give him a healing word as well. Well, what is your word? At, uh, um, healed. <laughs> <laughs> At third level. Got it. You recover 12 hit points. Cool. Yeah. Fucking Doros and Task about to reenact uh, Tarzan's You'll Be In My Heart. <laughs> as I was saying, we're, we're powerful, but we're not bodyguards. I can't help but feeling like you're not in the safest care with us. Oh, we did hire it's an order, though. A, it is not about care. We have a job and we have to complete it. Of course it's dangerous. We live in Alavast. Hey, hey Monty, is, is that the uh, they done with the healing? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to burn my second wind to give myself an extra 10. Okay. All right. Besides, if I'm not here to help you, then they're just going to escape. That's probably why they were aiming for me. Well, you are the one going or around dispelling it? their eyes. What if it's because you alerted them by dispelling their magic? Well, you want them to just listen in on us? No, yeah. I'm not saying you did the wrong thing. I'm just saying it guys, could be a causative action. Guys, think. If they, take, if they were to take her out, who's to stop the entire council from putting us away? That's also the main concern. Okay, if you if if we lose you in our watch, all the fingers are gonna get pointed at us. No, they'll get pointed at Brooke Bronzefang. Not well, you guys. That's even worse. To be uh, fair, we're out uh, on his leave. Anything we do is on his well, head. We a... will probably get swept up in it though. Guys. All all things considered, we need to get moving back to the tavern. We're open out here. I agree with that. I don't disagree. But let's get we were moving. Going to the but, but we were going to the romantic. Well, that's gonna have. That's that's gonna have to wait. Why don't we rest up before we get hit with another Yugoloth? Okay, I'd like to have my tail not be caught in a corkscrew. That'd be nice. Let's not fight Storos a Yugoloth. Doros kind of just gently lifts your tail, noticing that it's <laughs> a corkscrew. Gently it's in a it knot in like three separate Dude, ways. How, he must be really good at handle animal. <laughs> oh, Dor Doros has lived with kobolds. He's very gentle. Remember, he was raised by them. Remember, yeah. he's a gentle lover. Just ask Willow. Oh. He fucks on. up once, it's all over. You know that, right? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Doros, are you laying on hands? <laughs> He's doing that aggressive pet of a dog when you pet so hard, the eyes go like, Ugh! You pull the skin back? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, you guys are escorted back to your tavern with what, what wounds you have still on you, getting a taste of your enemy within the city. And as you guys rest for the night and heal, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Hey, oh, right. oh, bye, Austin. Oh, bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bosco, you got a jet right. Okay, sorry. Go on, Nadine. By the way, yeah. Kay is staying in Greckles' room. She's not leaving, you guys. Oh, that's good. Oh, that means I'll get to target. 107, quickly. correct? Yeah. yeah, 107. One hundred and seven. Oh, I'm yeah. sure, Monty, I gotta say, really good encounter for just a single enemy. It, really well in done. Invisibility at will must be a lot of fun. Ah, uh, God. I can't, I, believe a... I, 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 I can't believe I took fairy fire off of my fucking Yeah, I know. Oh, I was going to say, you fucking I asshole. Everyone Don't ever I... show her what your spell slot everyone... is. Again. I didn't I... know. I thought you had it. I was like, Ev... this will be easy. No, I, everyone I, in chat I, got in I, trouble I for backseating you... that one. Everyone's like, why is he I, using I, fairy they were, fire? They were like, dude, just use fairy fire. I'm like, I, I have it. Shut up. I, I, I showed you in, in the uh, in our little, little private thing where... I all yeah, my spells. I, yeah, I, I don't have fairy fire. Had it. I didn't know. No, but either I way, I mean, either way, it's there. So. Yeah, it, it made it in the counter much more intense. I will say. Back our twenty yeah. thousand uh, bits but, totally yeah, thought she was um, going to die. Yeah, if she no, got hit with that knife, she only had like eleven HP. If she got hit with that knife and it did more than a certain amount of damage, it probably would have killed her. Uh, or the, the freaking say that so, she failed. Real, real quick, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, the Talbs just dropped. Uh, the Talbs, who was very kind, dropping a bunch of subs earlier, it made an episode title suggestion, and I love it. See no evil. 
I'm so down. Really I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Real, real quick. We're no, gonna, it comes we're, out May 19th. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to... Oh, no, not that. No, you said it wrong, Kane. <laughs> yeah! May 19th! Guys, guys, guys. All right, now, now Bosco, you have to get going here. We get Bosco, you have to get going here. And so does Bray Gaijin yep. as well. Yep. All Bray right. Bray Gaijin, plug yourself. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin. I have a new video coming. Wow, Find that on out. YouTube. God damn it! Go that lag. We got the important parts, Gaijin. It's yep. fine. Find Next. me here. There. Connor, go. Twitch.tv slash distortion devil. Twitter, senile snake. Friday, Friday Funhouse. Saturday, The Witcher 3. Sunday, uh, D&D 5e homebrew. Close enough. Zito, go! Find me on twitch.tv slash Zito, where we're making homebrew stuff until the 15th when I get paid and I can buy video games again. You can also find the mock, uh, playable mimics on DMs Guild. Try to get that motherfucker to gold status. Monty, go! Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter and twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Video games. Yeah, you can find me at Bosco VA on Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Bosco. You can find Kurt right here on this channel Thursday. Don't miss MNW. It's going to be an amazing match. I know. I've seen it. Don't worry and about it. Those, Tune in. For those who have never seen it before, it's like D&D &D with 150 wrestlers. Exactly, and all of you get to complain about how ah, your books. There you go. <laughs> it's only the Lacroix La La of, uh, Ooh, of companies. Lacroix get to do it. Don't All right, don't that's good. Taka, who are we rating? Any other shout-outs? Oh, will there be an art stream this Friday? Yes. I will be doing the art stream cool. this Friday. Uh, also, uh, who should we be rating? Uh, I'm going to... There are a lot of people. We got on. Rabbit. Yeah. We got Shimigami. Right. We got Octopimp. I don't know what Octopimp. We also have... Yeah, that guy's a nerd. Yeah, he but is. Please decide playing I have... I have, I have, uh... Oh, God, I have so many people. Let's... Oh, God, there's so many people. Do okay, we have one. Guys? Guys, I have to go now. I'm Bye. Okay. Go, guys. Bye. 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 Don't forget to send your audio. I already did. Uh, we also have Shinigami Eater. He's playing Halo. Yeah, I said that. I'm down with Shimigami or Octo. Either one. Yeah. Let's go with Ku. We haven't raided Ku in a while. Yeah, Ku's a good boy. Yeah, yeah we haven't raided Ku in, in a really long time. Shin oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. I just want to come back when you let me. <laughs> You know, Doug says Thank hi. you all so much. Uh, oh, sh thank you all so much for swinging by the Unexpectables. We will have the art stream this Friday, guys. Thank you all so much. We will see you next Wednesday for the next exciting episode uh, uh, of, of Panic Pulls Off the Roof. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you all for the, thank you all for the subs and bits, everybody. Bye, everybody.